Okay, hold on one second. Hello. Lord, that took me like a day and a half to, to get like. It did. You're in there. But you had to climb up a hill to get on the street. Jesus Christ! Like I had to download an app, like put my fucking like name, like on like you know, write my name in blood. Like I, I didn't even know what you were talking about. Did you have to make a blood a uh, cult promise to get up here? I had to download the stream yard app, which I've never had ever. Uh, like I did find it to YouTube. I tried that way. They said fuck you. Uh, signed into Facebook. I tried that way. They said no thanks. And like here I am, finally. Okay, so um, here I am. Fine, we're good. Lord, so what's up, Penelope? Like this bitch, this crazy Penelope is like the world's worst person. Like you know, I I'm gonna tell you something backstage that I found out that oh, I, I can you I. I you, you, you uh, how do I find that? I don't even know how to find oh, that. Oh, okay. okay, hold on. Can I text it to you? Yeah. Okay, give me a second. I don't remember last time we texted, so it's going to take a minute. One second. Jesus Christ. Like, social security card? Like, mother's maiden <laughs> name just to get here? Like, Jesus. Too okay. much. Now I'm on the StreamYard app, which I didn't even know was which was available. Um, good to know. But this Penelope person, like, you know, talk about a sniper from the side. Penelope is a sniper from the side. Like, you know, wants to make out, like, you know, she loves you. She's your friend. She's like, in, and she is the one, like, like, putting people against each other who she cares about because she's a sick Big Mac eating bitch and I can't with her. I'm sorry. Okay, I sent you a text. All right, let me look at it. <clears throat> let me see this. Um, mm -mm. Oh. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Ain't that rich? <laughs> just like Brooke, they are two peas in a pod, man. I, I, uh, Jesus Christ, I like, I, I, of course, of course, of course, yeah. Um, oh my god, I can't. And like, you know, Penelope was the one that got me to attack Siwa with the whole GoFundMe shit. And, like, listen, I take culpability in that. I, I, that, I take, that. I take culpability in that because I was the one that pulled the trigger and hit the live button, and I did that. Like, you know, so I can't, you know, but she was the one that, like, was, like, I talked to the sister, the sister saying this, and then, like, you know, she put me in contact with the sister, and then the sister said, I don't know who this woman is, so I felt like I was doing, like, something right in that case, mm -hmm. and I wasn't. And this is Penelope. This is how she works. And, um, you know, I can't apologize enough to Siva for that, because I, I honestly, that, that haunts me, and I really, well, you know, Siva was... Speaking of that, I want to play this clip that I found the other day that I don't know if a lot of people knew she was talking about the situation with my, with the family. Right. So this is, this involves vault, but vaults taking accountability. Oh, saying she's Barbarino? The reason. Yeah. Okay. Well, let me play it. Did y'all know that vault was involved with buying the picture and posting it? I didn't know that. I thought that lady don't fuck with people's kids and family and shit. So oh let my me play God, this for y'all. Right. It, was, I, it I, was, I was vault. No, it was vault. You're right. And then Penelope took it from there. One. Let me share the screen. One second, y'all. Okay. Hold tight, y'all. I'm going to... I think I have to mute it myself. Like, mute myself. One second, y'all. So this is what Penelope admitted to on KK's, which I had no idea until I rewatched this a few days ago. Like, watched it all the way through, and I was like, what the fuck? So she's the reason it happened? So one minute, y'all. Am I losing here. sound? Okay. You You're the one saying I was spoofing the people you even put out your. I didn't say that to you, did I, John? No, so what I am gonna fucking say. You want some real tea in here? You want oh, some real God. tea? Oh, you want some real tea? Right here, here. Right. <laughs> yeah, you know who gave, who put that boy's picture in the group chat? I did. 
You know why? Because my fucking family was on that kid's cousin's page. I put it there. John asked, this asshole John was in the group chat. I have no idea what you're talking about. First off, why is she cry, like on the verge of tears? Acting like she was fucked with, and her son, her cousin was fucked with, and like I was the one that put the picture in the chat, acting like she was fucked over. So she was the one that put the picture in the chat, but then like we're all supposed to. She took it upon herself to take it off of the Facebook and put it in the chat, which a whole group of people she knew hated me, and she's the reason it's gone from there. But I was says, in the chat. I was in that. the chat because Penelope was in that chat too before Anne booted her out. Anne said, "I can't stand fucking Penelope. She's a troublemaker," and I I booted her out of the chat. So Anne said that, um, and then Anne stopped, and then Anne made everybody stop talking to Penelope. But like, I didn't care because because Anne's horrible. Um, but so, oh Lord, I this is Jesus Christ. I can't with this shit. I honestly don't that. believe that her cousin just happened to be on that family's page. I don't believe that. I'm just saying because I don't believe Vault for anything. But the fact that she's sitting here like fighting back tears at, while admitting to going real life. Why was she fighting back tears? Like, you know, you posted the picture in the chat vault. So, like, why are you upset about it? Like, I don't get it. Did you not hear how she, like, she, did you not hear her oh, almost I, I, fucking Volt loves, it? loves to go at me. She, no, I love it. Because, you know, Volty Barbarina, like, some, like, low-grade dumb bitch who cannot stand, like, to not be in some type of spotlight. And that's why she, you know, supports the people that she does because that's all she has is a horrible fucking accent and bad fucking hair. Sorry. That's now doing drive-bys to people's places. Yeah. But then screams, she doesn't ever do real life or mess with people. Pretty, sure, pretty sure it was Volt that drove by Cooch's place because I got that I got the video from the drive by from a random number. Oh, they're all trying to blame it on Johnny Mac. It's not. It, I can promise you, with with both with my eyesight, my marriage, my soul, my my Georgie, my cats, my house, my livelihood, hands to God on a fucking Bible that Johnny Mac had nothing. To do with the drive by at Cooch's. I, the, Johnny Mac had nothing to do with it. I got that video from a spoof number of somebody driving through Cooch's fucking Regency Run place. That that that's that's how I got it. Had it was not Johnny Mac. Dang man. Yeah, was, they're like, I, oh, that's going to look horrible for him in court against FBS. It's going it to prove how dangerous he is. It was probably Terry Lynn who did it because Terry Lynn's a spook caller. Like, I don't know, but like, you know, and Terry, yeah, Lynn, Terry Lynn wouldn't drive by there. So it had really, to be someone Terry, in. Really? Terry Lynn didn't go to, oh, that's right. she, didn't go to Jules's house and drive by that's there? Right. Yeah, but I don't think she has that much anger towards, like, I don't think she's angry with Cooch to We're do talking it. About Terry Lynn again, here. Shit starters. We're talking about Terry Lynn here. She's not angry. Mm -hmm. See what? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> but I, I'm I, saying I don't know her to be angry at Cooch. But then again, there's people out here purposely doing shit all the time to each to all and of Terry us. Terry Lynn has not worked fight. against her own friends like Penelope has. That's true. She has worked against her own friends. Hell, she's done it to D. She's done it to Sly. Exactly. She's done it to, Jewel, she's done it to exactly. Amanda. Exactly. Yeah. And I'm not. I'm not saying it's Terry Lynn. I'm. I'm saying like you know. I'm looking at people who could have said it to me and. That come it, it came from a spoof number. That's all. And who spoofed me? Terry Lynn, Yahoo Boy, Penelope. Maybe it was Penelope. Wait, maybe Penelope, was Penelope lives in the area. Well, then maybe it was Penelope then because Penelope lives in Columbus, Ohio. And is how far is Columbus to Cincinnati? Anybody know? It's in the same fucking state. <laughs> it's, it's it's close enough, man. But I'm just saying, like, you know, Johnny Mac had absolutely I, I wouldn't even ask Johnny Oh, Mac it's only an hour that. and 30 minutes. It's only an hour and 30 minutes apart. I wouldn't even, you know, I would not even ask a friend of mine to do that because, like, you know what? If they want to turn on me, it'll be traced to me. No, I'm not stupid. No. No, no, never. I would never ask anybody of that. All I know is that I got a, I got a text from a spoof number with that video saying they were just at Regency Run at Cooch's house. That's all I'm saying. And like I would never I, I'm not I'm I'm not stupid enough to leave a paper trail. 
So I would never, ever ask anybody to do that for me. No, I wouldn't. Thank you, Crystal. Sorry. That's and, crazy. And, you know, Johnny Mac has his own things that he's dealing with with courts. So like, so yeah. I'm going to ask Johnny Mac while he's dealing like with other court on stuff. Him and yeah. Right, like, right, you know, I care about him. So, like, oh, by the way, Johnny, while you're facing these charges, do me a favor and go stalk somebody else and 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 run and and, and take a video of fucking Cooch's uh place. Yeah, no, th- th- that would never come around. Right like, John sent Johnny Mac to Cooch's, and he, we know that he's dangerous. He'll cross state lines to beat up someone. We can only imagine it's what he's doing. State you, lines. He lives in the same town as her. I know, but he, they're saying because he drove across state lines to beat up FBS. Which I don't think he did it, y'all. Didn't he send somebody else to do it? I digress. But anyways, they're saying, well, he'll do that to FBS. Just imagine what he would do to Cooch, He's cause, uh, who's a woman. And we know what he does to women. Like, that's the shit they were saying in Heidi's. So Penelope also lives in Ohio. So I wonder, yeah. and now, now Penelope, who's also admitted to spoofing me and spoofing Brooke and spoofing her husband. And that you're going to tell me, see what now, like that Penelope is good with all them now? Because, you know, Brooke said that Penelope almost cost her her marriage. So now they're yeah. all great now? She's back in with the crew. Wow. Wow. What, like what a sad s- bunch of fucking That's sick bitches. Wow. Wow. I don't know who started the rumor that it was Johnny Mac, but it was said in Heidi's and they're all saying how they're going to send the proof to FBS to, to use in court to help solidify charges against Johnny Mac saying that, look how dangerous he is. He's doing this. And everybody was in the comments saying what a monster and, and how John, you're going to get. You know what? See, well, I'll tell you Mac. the truth. It was Jen Bailey that went to Cooch's house. <laughs> Was she running? She likes to go it running now. Je- Listen, I could lie like everybody else. It was Jen Bailey that went to Cooch's house because she wanted to be my friend again and she'd do whatever it would take. Sisters. It was Jen Bailey. Jen Bailey went, you know, Jen Bailey's also in Cincinnati and she went to Cooch's house and, and took the video. Because, I, you know, if, if they all want to fucking lie, I can lie too. So, That's what I said about the married man I'm supposedly living with. If you want to lie, let's make it. Let's, let's lie. Yeah. And Anne's husband I'm living with. Jen Bailey said, John, I will do anything for you to like me again. And I said to Jen, I said, oh, okay, Jen, you go to Cooch's house and, and record it. And Jen said, okay, sir. And she went there, and that's what happened. You want to believe that story? That's more believable in my, in my books than this fucking Johnny Mac shit. <laughs> oh, God. If I were you, uh, what I would do is if I would probably send the proof to Johnny Mac about it coming from a spoof, just because I think they're going to try to bring it up in court to use it against him. And but, hell, or maybe have to- no, this is bullshit. This whole court, like it, 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 they made a mockery of like seven. Like, this whole court thing is like a joke. Like it's a joke. Like you know they draw. Yeah, this ain't out. a restraining order situation. This no, is actually it's, criminal but, charges. See what seven months now. And th- it's not going to be finished oh, anytime soon. Years, yeah. It's not. It's almost. When is court We're, again? The t- Friday. Holy shit. And that's after six weeks. And <laughs> court is a joke, man. I'm sorry. And you can record this for all you want to. But like, I have no faith. I asked the court for help when I got served with an RO from the Miami PD. In New Jersey, mind you, I'm in New Jersey. I got served with a Miami restraining order. I took the service. I got an attorney. I did what I had to do. And I showed up to court and was over in one hearing. I don't know how. Now, 10 hearings later. Uh, I don't know either. 10 hearings later. You know, so like court is a joke. It's a joke. I have no faith in it. Well, it's zero understandable. Zero point zero zero. And I'm out, fi- I'm out, I'm out $15,000 because of this fucking joke. Because I tried to go the legal way and I get slapped in the fucking face again. So fuck all of it. I'm over it. I'm, I'm, I'm tired of this shit. I'm tired of all these people. Like, you know, Johnny Mac had nothing. I will swear on a, uh, like a sack of Bibles, Johnny Mac had nothing to do with this. You know, Why? Because he lives in Cincinnati? Well, Jen Bailey lives in Cincinnati. Right. Jen Bailey has been posting over and over again how much he misses me and wants to be my friend mm-hmm. again and messaging me. So wouldn't it make more sense that Jen Bailey did it for me than, than yeah, Johnny Yeah, in Mack? the stream with Anzi, she's like, Cooch, you need to leave John alone. You're driving him to the edge. So maybe. 
And now, where, what are we here? Penelope, the evil conniving cunt. I'm sorry, Siwa. I'll send you some money for this live. I'm <laughs> sorry. I'm sorry. Um, okay. I'm, I'll send you some money. Um, that, that this bitch also lives in Ohio. And, like, now, like, she was, the, she could have been the one. I got that from a spoof call. The people that spoof me are Terry Lynn, Yahoo Boy, and Penelope. Those are the three people that admitted to it. So, where are we? So, which one? I don't know. I wouldn't put it past Penelope, honestly, knowing that she lives that close. Or Jen. I wouldn't put it past either one of them. I don't think it was Jen. I, I, I was using Jen as, as an excuse. It's, it's okay. not Jen. Like, I... And maybe, well, you know, Lord, maybe, maybe it was Jen. Jen's desperate to be my friend again. So like, I don't know. But like, you know, I like, you know, it's, but Jen's never spoofed me. So there's that. Well, that you know of. You know, I don't think Jen has Jen's the wherewithal not to do that. at all. So, yeah. So you know I, don't, do I, I don't think that it was Jen that, that did that. But I'm just saying, like, you know, there's a lot of people in Ohio and, for them to blame Johnny Mac. Like, well, they to have to blame that. Johnny Mac. They're not going to blame Penelope. They're not going to blame Jen. They're not going to blame, like they have to go Johnny Mac because he's a, he's on your side. That's of course going to always be their go-to. <sighs> but we have Penelope who was spoofing Brooke's husband in the middle of the night, spoofing me in the middle of the night that made Brooke and her husband call the police to me. And now they're all good. Yep. Make that make sense to me. How 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 Brooke how Brooke Graham, who's a second away from being bald cat, because have you seen her picture, Siwa? Because it's gross. <laughs> have you seen it, Siwa? Which which gross person, bald cat or Brooke? Let me let me let me text you a picture here, and then you and then you can bring this up if you want to. I probably won't because it'll probably be privacy violation. I, I don't think so. It's a camera slip on Terry Lynn's channel from, from months ago. So, um, IDK. But that that's who that person is who's masquerading as my fucking cat. Okay? Like, you know, it's... Dude, it's, why are they, they so old while doing this shit? I, exactly! This is what... I can't imagine being 70 and be like... like I can you not play bingo day. somewhere? Like... Were you at St. Peter's and they weren't calling your fucking numbers? So, like, you decided to go on YouTube and be a fucking cunt? Like, explain it to me. Like, I don't know. Like, like was did you did you get a, a, a snag in your fucking yarn when you were, like, crocheting something? Like, what well, crochet happened needle in broke, your life? So she had to go to YouTube and be your cat, John. And That's... I don't even know this woman. And she's masquerading as my cat. Let me say this. She's like, I don't see nothing wrong with it. Bald cat. If you don't want to people to be upset with you so much and you just want to have a stream just to chat about things in the community, then just if it means nothing to you, then just dress up as something else and don't use John's cat's name. If you like, because it's gonna you're always gonna have a target on you as long as you're doing it. So if you truly don't want to be in the midst of all the fighting and get all this heat heat, then just change it up. No one's saying you have to delete your channel. Just stop in person, like no, using John's channel. No, delete your channel, bitch. Delete it because I'm coming after everybody. <laughs> delete your fucking shit because I'm coming after everybody. I, I'm tired of this shit. I'm tired of it. A seventy-year-old fucking woman masquerading as my cat. What the fuck is wrong with you? Well, you're talking about a community that wears people's faces as oh, costumes. Oh, oh, so. I'm, oh thank you, Steve. Well, for me, Cooch, you wear my skin suit, you fucking horrible heifer. Like, what are you doing with your life that you have to wear? And you know that bitch sleeps with my fucking mask on every night. You know she fucking does. You know she does because she fucking loves me so goddamn much. God, I, when I hate people, I never listen to them. I avoid, I block them. I'm the I same don't way. Think about I them. don't. Like that's but what they can't most, stop watching. That's what most normal people do. When you don't like somebody, you you omit them from your life. You don't make it right. the target of everything you do from the second you wake up to the second you go to sleep. That's that's what normal people do. But these fucking people, like they're like, let's let's go fucking ape shit, and it's crazy. Kind of like how Penelope saying. She's so scared of her ex, but yet she's stalking him and oh, messaging oh, him. Okay. Eat a Big Mac, bitch. Go eat a Big Mac. 
go fuck yourself, eat a Big Mac, and like, you know, and now Brooke, so Brooke and all them are okay with Penelope, like, that's, like, that's, their like, they're okay, Brooke said, Penelope, you, you almost ruined my marriage, but she's okay with it, right, right, Brooke? God, Brooke Let Graham. me talk about Brooke. Brooke. People have done crazy things, sir, and she overlooks all of it as long as it means having them help her go after us. Like, she overlooks all the shit Muzz has done as long as it means going after us. She's overlooked everything Cooch has done as long as it means going against us. Like, mm -mm. wait, Miss Mickey said she asked for prayers for one of her friends as Georgie. Oh, my fucking God. That's so I saw the title about one of our friends need help. I was like, there ain't no way I'm watching that. Don't care. <laughs> I don't care. Consider what y'all consider friends. Uh, yeah. That McDonald's size bag in the wedgie. I, I can't believe y'all saw that. And people wonder why I go off the way I do. They, they wonder. They say, oh, look, John, just react. Like, do you see this shit? <laughs> like, it's insane. This is insane. A bunch of 60 and 70-year-old women that, like, should be at the center playing bingo Bro, fucking shaying, reading fucking like, you know, e pray fucking love type shit. And this is what they fucking do. Like, no, I'm sorry. I, I'm over it. And like, you know, John, you can't go after old people. Well, watch me because I'm fucking over it. Well, I don't want to. Well, I don't want to be up there when you're, you know, doxing people's addresses I'm or anything. That's no, true. no, no. I well, don't say anything about doxing, Siwa. No, 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 okay. no, no. I'm, no, 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 not doing it that way. Because what uh -uh. they do is turn around and do it right back, you know. And no, 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 no I, I, no, not doxing anybody. No, no. Hey, Jade, yeah. good morning. Jade, I was just giving a shout out to your wonderful channel with all the proof of what Mumble's daughter actually said on Reddit since she was being my son's comments. And like, I don't, I, I tried to look on your community tab, like the thing that Jade said, like, I don't, I don't, I missed it. Can you play it? Of. Uh, well, not the one in Momo's. Yeah, I'd rather not play that one. Even though I pretty much already said it. Mm. I, I won't. I, I'd rather not play it, but I'll give you the link. Only because Psycho will go off the rails towards my children again. So, but why? Anyone's... She's a great woman. She she does she does no wrong by anybody. See what? I didn't even know her daughter was back on Reddit until I, I saw Jade's video. Jade posted a video today proving Muzz was lying about something. And when I went over there to look at it, I saw that she had another video I've never seen. And I go watch it. I'm like, what the fuck? I had no idea that this happened on Reddit. So, yeah, give me one second. <laughs> this is insane. And you know, my son Anne put a video out did just Anne about a bad Addie? dream. Did you see that? See what? Anne attacking Addie for no reason? Because she's my friend? No. What? Oh. Oh, yeah. Look at what this What did about Addie? Oh, go, go to the community I hate, tab. I just saw his looking at her child. John. <coughs> it's so crazy how stay away from people, like, like Heidi and Anne and Maria and Brooke are all now 90 Day Fiance specialists. And they're all talking about Angela because, oh, because I broke the fucking story about Angela and Michael. And now they're all posting, uh, uh, resharing community tab posts of other uh, YouTubers talking shit about Angela, like as a dig to me. Like, go fuck yourselves. Like, I, I can't oh, anymore. Lord. Maybe meet a cast member and like you know all these fucking people who think they're 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 bloggers. Like you're not a blogger. No, you're not. Meet a cast member. Spend time with them. Walk a red carpet. Get into their lives instead of just watching what you see on TV and you think you know fucking everything because you don't. You know what's you crazy? Don't. You know how you know how Cooch's videos being mentioned in all these uh, streams about or all these videos about Angela and she's over here like, oh, I was mentioning all these big channels. Do you understand that she tracked them down and was sitting in the messages saying, look at my bit, look, watch my video, watch my video. You can use it in your stream. Just mention me. She's the and only dirty awesome. fat sloth that actually went to get like try the FOIA request trying to make me look bad because trying to make tr trying to make Angela look like a liar saying she didn't call the police when she actually fucking did. So thanks for proving my point. And now because she's so low fucking grade that they the, all these other people are like, using her material because she was the only degenerate to call the fucking police and get a FOIA request on it because that's what they fucking do. And Cooch, oh, that's oh, what I said. Hard, she was the first snake hard. to do it. That I, I would mean hold anything. on to your freedom for as long as you fucking can, because sweetheart, you are getting it in spades, honey. 
Spades. I will say one thing about the other channels that ended up using Cooch's video, which Wet Sock didn't even name her in his video, but the other guy, I moved something or whatever. He, one thing different between Cooch and them is they actually took the time to take out the doxing of Angela's daughter's number and the address and Michael's full name and Michael's date of birth. Cooch could even do that. That was it. No, professional no. And like, let's not forget like that Angela has six grandkids in that house, all under the age of 10. Yep, and their full and address. They don't give there. a fuck. She didn't give a fuck. She didn't care. She don't care. Brooke's the same way. She's out doxing everything she could find touched to me, but while screaming that, oh, her poor daughter, while you're out here doxing everything you fucking can on to YouTube. Again, y'all don't know who's watching. You don't know what people are capable of. You don't know how fucking crazy people are that you're giving information like this to. Plus, people think that she's on TV. We have her address. They go there and rob her. Like, you know, but yep. no, because Cooch the Cream, Kelly Kroll, sits there in her house eating her, eating her fucking big, uh, her Big Mac supersized, and she don't give a fuck because, and now she thinks she's a big shot because a couple of low-grade YouTubers wanted to, to put up her fucking police FOIA request. Like, you know, it, it's such and a They wouldn't joke. even know about it if she had not reached out to them and drew... Like brought their attention to her videos. She was trying everything she could to get into, in, like to be mentioned. They don't. They, they didn't bring like, oh, Cooch is such a great blogger and streamer. She's a so blogger, knowledgeable. Did, did they say how her whole channel is me? Did they say no, that? No, they, they don't mention her as a blogger. I'm I'm being facetious. They don't mention her as a blogger. They said Cooch brought attention to the videos. He she got Angela's number one call and because of me. Like I said, there's not bragging rights when all you're had doing I is never went to Angela's house. Person. Had I never went to Angela's house, had I never did that live, none of them, none of them would be talking about it. None. Yep. And y'all know that's the truth. None. Well, I hope um, Angela does something about the doxing situation. Oh, she's taking care of it. Trust me. Because that, there, let's be honest, like a lot of people have hate for Angela in, in the United States. That could have put her in some very serious danger. If you hate Angela, that's fine. But like she has six grandkids in that house. Like, and you're going to do that to like the grand, like, you know. They don't care. Because look, we, we're talking about Cooch here. She don't give a fuck. But when she gets doxxed by some random account, oh God, I'm so like, I was so scared for my life. But she's a baller. She's a big public figure. She's a YouTuber. She's a truth teller. So, like, what the fuck did you think was going to happen? When I bitch about people fucking with me, they told me that. Well, John, you're a public figure. You go live on YouTube. You say this, that, and the other. So you can't get mad at it. And I said, okay, you're kind of right. So, Cooch, same fucking shit goes to you. <laughs> Sorry, but that's how it works. I mean, there's, That's there's, how that there's, works. there's a lot of people I've seen leaving threats to Angela over the Michael situation and her just putting out the address and the phone number and all that like it was nothing was so unprofessional. And that's you're begging for for charges or lawsuit. I mean, no, we Coach, know I'm Angela coming for you, Kelly Kroll. That's why I needed your address. I I'm wait for it. Wait for it, because you think you're on the, you know, you you now you're protected by other bloggers, uh, YouTubers that that don't give a fuck about you. They saw what you did. They're using your material, and they're gonna move on from you and never think about you ever again because that's who mm -hmm. you are, useless. She's known as Coochie Cream. Let's, I mean, come on. My legacy is I'm known as Coochie Cream on YouTube. <laughs> I'm sorry. Useless. She's she's sloth, is what she is. No, it wouldn't be an appropriate time for my, me to sincerely apologize to John for my comment regarding drinking, but I'm doing it anyway. I'm a cold old hen, I swear. I don't even know what you're talking about, sweaty. No idea. That's, he saw, I'm sure he saw your comment. Um, that's that guy. I don't know what we we're going to do with him. Oh, who deadly. Yeah. What happened? Oh, by the way, do you want to mention about the 20 cents PayPal's you were getting? Can you pull it up? I gave you the text, pull it up. I can't because it has her full address in it. It's a fake one, so pull it up. <laughs> it's, it's public. <laughs> or or redact, redact the address then and pull it up. All right, give me a minute. Yeah, I, I, I would be happy to speak on this, Siwa. Happy to do it. Because that's how worried she is right now. 
because she you knows. Know the going great for being a YouTuber was only 20 cents. No, she knows what's coming for her. So, yeah, redact what you have to redact, and I will be happy to talk about it. Well, I work on that. While I work on that, Les has a question. What happened between Ann and Addie? What took place? Okay, so um, Addie on my channel last week post, um, spoke about how she's no longer affiliated with the Law and Crime Network. And um, she did a quick, like, maybe, like, five minutes, um, you know, intro, not intro, but, like, um, she talked about what happened, and um, it was all my live, and then she did, she made it into a short, and she put it on her channel, because um, people were asking her, because Addie, Addie built the Law and Crime Network. Addie was, Addie, the reason why Addie has that YouTube plaque for one million views was because one million subs was because she built that network from the ground up. Okay. What? I had no idea she was that involved. Oh yes, honey. Yes. She that's why she has the YouTube plaque for one million subs that you could see behind her when she sits. So um, you know, uh another company bought lawn crime and um they decided to make changes and they dropped all the moderators and Addie was one of them and um she's no longer affiliated with the network so you know because Addie has such like a big following she you know people were asking questions like where are you like what's going on and um she she said on my channel that you know this was going on and what happened so Addie Addie turned that into a short put it on her channel and um, Anne Graham says, well, I'm so fucking happy that you're gone. You were dramatic and horrible. What on... the fuck? So Addie um, posted on her IG story, like, you know, she didn't name any names. She goes, listen, I'm not dramatic. You know, Addie's on the spectrum. And oh, Addie... Oh, yes, dude. She said something in the comment the other day. Yeah. That's right. Addie's on the spectrum. And, you know, Addie doesn't... Um, you know, um, um, what's the right word to use here? She doesn't understand thing. I don't want, understands a bad, a poor choice of words. Um, Addie, it's sometimes hard to understand some interactions right. with other people and to read energy and read emotions from right. others. Right, right. So, um, Addie posted on her, you know, um, uh, let me send you the text to see. Well, hold on. Okay. They made fun of Addie's autism. Of course they did. I would expect nothing less for that group. They sure did. So. That's their MO and everything. That's what Ann said. Like, you know, Ann's diagnosing her, you know, because Timo Teeth, uh, the one whose husband just left her, has a lot to say about Addie. But, you know, they're attacking everybody. You know, that's Anne attacking my friend, my panelists, uh, uh, just like they're attacking Sophie every day because she was a witness of mine, just like they're attacking Jules every day because Jules is a witness of mine. And that's what they fucking do. That's what they do. All right, y'all. Well, I'm editing this photo, but I'm going to read to you what what was said. One second. Okay, it says, Addie, when someone mentions autism with every comment they make, it speaks volumes. My grandson has autism and all his quirks. He also has amazing abilities that leave me standing with his intelligence. Um, when I speak of your dramatics, Addie, I speak of your behavior behind the scenes, the theatrics. I watch you drunk, screaming, and crying over a grown man about to deactivate Instagram for the millionth time. Of course, he gave him the attention he wished for all at the time. Do not come at me with childish accusations that I am attacking your quirks due to being autistic. What the fuck do you call that? I'm sure like every other human being, your I'm sure like every other human being, your life is swings and roundabouts. I believe you are diagnosed later in life. If so, I wonder what you said prior. What we may lose in one respect in another. Get the fuck out of here. You support people who mock people with disabilities openly. Your ability to ignore the obvious for a highly intelligent woman amazes me. Kisses Anne. No, sweaty, you said some shitty things about me still. So, like, you know, you don't have to hook by me by any chance, but like, whatever. So, that's Anne's rebuttal to fucking Addie, who didn't say anything. Like, you know, Addie posted on her, you, you could look at it. 
on her on her YouTube channel, she posted like the clip, the short of her saying like, you know, why she's on a long crime, and left a horrible fucking message. Addie in part said on her IG story to the person who left me that that comment, I'm autistic. This is how I deal with things. It was, you know, it was she wasn't naming names, she wasn't being mean or nothing. And then this was Anne's response. That that was That's Anne's true. response. You know, and like that was so full of condescending accusations and diminishing everything. Yeah, they made fun of Maggie Stutter all the time, y'all. And say he's not Hispanic, he's not autistic, he's not on spectrum. Like they always talk shit. They well, funny, you know what? Have, I, made, I, I I made fun of Mikey Stutter too, because at that time well, Mikey well, Mikey was saying that I sent him dick pics of, of me, which was a complete lie. Oh yeah. I didn't remember that, but like, so like, you know, then I made fun of his stutter. Like, you know, if you come for me, I come back at you. Like, you know, when people want to lie on me. So I, I did, you know, I'm taking ownership of that. I did make fun of Mikey stutter because he was saying that I was live sending him dick pics of me and I was cheating on, cheating on Cody with him. So yeah, I did. I think that was back when he was cool with Jen and, you know, Pete. I well, think Mikey I did that. A lot of I, I, there's no shame. I, I will take ownership of what I've done, but Mikey did say that I sent him dick pics, and I, I, like, I've never sent a dick pic to anybody because I've been with Cody for 16 fucking years before that was invented. Um, so, like, that never fucking happened. So, like, when Mikey said that about me because he was in Maria's wow. chat, like, trying to be their friend, like, you know, lying, I said, and then I made fun of his stutter. I did. So, um, I did. That's what I did. So, well, at least you understand I, it's wrong and hopefully it doesn't ever happen again because definitely not good. Well, don't tell, okay. don't, don't lie on me. Don't just don't lie on me and problem solved. Like the, this, the, there will be no issue. If, if you lie on me, yes. then I, 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 I will come back with you with fucking razor blades and lemons. Like, like don't fuck with me. Like, you know, but that's what Mikey did. So, and now me and Mikey are good, and that's fine. But like, that's what he did, and I did make fun of his stutter because of it. So there's that. I'm not gonna lie about it. I did it. I didn't know you but, did that, so I appreciate you admitting it. Yeah, no, I, I I'd be a liar if I didn't admit to it because I did do that. Um, but like, he should never have said that I sent him dick pics of me. And like, you know, and all these people in that chat that he was in, Maria's, uh, saying, uh, oh, John sent me dick pics. Well, why didn't they show him? <laughs> like, what, what, what you know, it, it's just like, you know, just the lies and the lies and the lies and the lies. I can't. I can't. All right. Here's you know, the and proof, you say, you're saying you're saying that I'm sending you dick pics will fuck with my marriage, fuck with my reputation, fuck me as a you know, that's like a, a big thing to say about me, you know, and I think everybody knows how much I am in love with my husband. Like we spend every second of every day together, like, you know, me and Cody are like a team and there's nothing that anybody could do. Other than Home Depot, Jen, who kind of almost fucked us up, but like to separate us and, you know, we're a team and you, you're not going to go live and say that, like, I'm sending you dick pics. Uh, no, that no, 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 no. So, yeah, I made fun of your stutter as a result. All right. That's all. Here we go. This is Cooch. I edited out the last name because even though she says her name on the time, I, I try not to use both. But it says from Kelly and it says 20 cents. March 14th, money received, which it says refunded. So don't even claim you do that. But she goes, Rumble earnings profit from time account open, which I'll show you the rest of that in a minute. But then um, the refund was sent right back, 21 cents. Then she sent another 20 cents. John Yates Rumble earnings from December 2023 to, I forget, tw I think January 2024. And then again, refund sent. But here's the rest. Oh, hold on. So as you can see, I know it's small writing, y'all, but let me, make, let me just make it bigger. All right, 21 cents refunded to Cooch. Refilled, uh, refund details have been emailed to the buyer, but it says go to transaction details. But if it goes to the top, it will say refund complete. Then we have, here's one of them. And again, her address on the bottom, I, I took it out. 
Oh, dang. Her, okay, now I fix it. But 20 cents, she said, Rumble earnings profit from the time account opened. Fuck you. Has her full right, name, right, full okay. address. And, but see what? Hold on, hold, hold, hold. Because the day before, the day before I got this refund bullshit was Heidi telling Cooch that she should press charges on me for harassment. <laughs> <laughs> I saw that. Yeah, I saw that. <laughs> like, <laughs> like I need to tell Cooch. Oh, oh, Cooch, you should press charges on John for harassment. Like, really, bitch? Like, really? Who's harassing? <laughs> Who's harassing who? <laughs> I can't. I can't. Like, it's it's it, like it's so fucking funny. It's crazy. Like that. Like th this is what they're saying. Meanwhile, Heidi was the one that told me to fucking drop cooch like a bad habit. And well, Heidi is also. And he Heidi's also the one who said, "I will never forgive Maria Vega for all the horrible things she said about me." And that's why also Heidi Black testified against Maria Vega for Amanda prayer draw in a court law. And I have the whole court transcript and don't think I haven't forwarded that to my attorney. Okay. So good luck with that shit. Good luck <laughs> with that. Heidi, when you are testifying again, you are testify against Maria saying Maria is a psychopath. Maria harasses people online. Maria has no idea what she's doing. And then, and then when when Heidi's called on it, she says, "Well, it's two different cases, huh?" Well, but you you literally said in court that um, Maria's a, a menace and she needs an RO put on her, but it's two different cases. What? Huh? Who? No. Well, it's like okay. the people that tell stalker she needs to get a restraining order against me for what? I'm not doing all this real life shit to you. I, I'm not digging into all your personal life. Talk to everybody in your life that's ever hurt you and messing with your kids and all. The only thing I've said anything about your kids is what's been outed on those FOIAs and your daughter's post bragging about being the designated drunk driver. And I thought you should probably focus on that a little bit more than focusing on my children. And maybe that wouldn't be happening. That's not a reason to get a restraining order. That's not putting your life in danger. That's not making any it difference in your fucking life, except it pisses you off. It's not illegal to piss you off. The other Rumble thing that she sent says, John Yates Rumble earnings from December 2023 to March 14, 2024. She said in all caps, paid in full, non-refundable. And he what did they do? <laughs> he refunded that shit right back. <laughs> and then I blocked her from every type of money-making fucking thing. Because it's it, it's a joke. It's a I joke. I had to block Stalker from every money making it's platform a, as well. Give me 20 cents. And let's not forget, like, you know, all the money I lost from members I could have had because she's streaming every live I do on Rumble. Because, you know, she tried that on YouTube and I was striking her like crazy. And then she realized she couldn't get away with it anymore. And then when this whole big fucking Rumble thing came out, then she was like, well, there's no rules on Rumble. It's fucking like the Thunderdome. So who cares? And yeah, now she's trying to give me twenty cents with all the the rumble. She gave you super forty cents died. total. She gave you forty cents total for two years of playing everything you've ever done. Forty cents, y'all. Yeah, twenty twenty fucking two dimes. Twenty cents is what she's thinking. Like, so I had to refund it because I'm like, you know, if I don't refund it, it'll fit. It'll be in court. It'll be like that I'm that I'm satisfied with the money that you gave me. So I had to refund it. I had to. Um yeah, like, you know, yeah. it's it's insane. And like, you know, and then let's not forget all the, the YouTube lives she did on me. And and then like, you know, reading the transcripts from my members' lives and reading them out there. Like, you know, this woman is Which a is sick, against the rules too. Bitch. You can't you can't read the comments, the transcript, anything from members only. That is supposed to stay on members only. Every part of the streams is supposed to stay behind the paywall. And then Cooch is bitching because she's saying, well, I'm editing his members' lives. And, like, you know, it's so not good enough. No, my members', it lives, edit members no or matter not. how much you edit it, is my members' lives. That's it. You can't do that. You are breaking the law. You sloth fucking fat.
bitch. Like you are breaking the law by doing that. Oh, and God, and I, I just, I, it's, I can't with these people anymore. I can't, I can't do it. I, I, I can't. <laughs> and people wonder I, why I go off. Like it's, it's insane. Where's Mod 148 lately? I haven't seen her in a while. She's been sick, so. Oh, okay. She's not, she hasn't been feeling that well. Um, but, um, it, well, I hope it's temporary. <laughs> You know, for me, like for them, you know, and then something, you know, I guess when I did a live that like last Monday night and I said, like, you know, here's what's up. Here's what you're doing. You know, you're robbing me and you're also robbing the people that pay memberships to my channel. Mm -hmm. You're robbing them. You're robbing them. They're paying me $15 a month to hear what I have to say, giving you exclusive tea. You know about the Angela stuff, like you know, I I I I put that out there to give you know my highest paying members, like you know, the scoop on what's really going on, and then she she plays it free on Rumble, and here someone wants y'all to know this about me. You heard it here first. We all lose. Everybody loses. Like the people paying the money for it, and me. You know, so yeah, you're fucked. You can't do that. You can't play lies behind a paywall. You can't do it. No. You know, Brooke was even on Rumble until Cooch started doing that. And she's like, what a great idea. So she started doing it too. Wait, what, honey? What, Siwa? Brooke didn't even used to never be on Rumble until Cooch started playing, stealing your stuff on Rumble and playing it as a was happening yeah so now brooke's like what a great idea i'm gonna do the same thing but to see what that's what what how all my content's being stolen as it's happening and thanks to like, yeah it's all so illegal how to be or one thing and it is but you know i call I, you know, I have the wheels of motion against Cooch and Siwa, you should do the same thing against Brooke for doing, you know, playing like, you know, your members lies behind a paywall. I already have a copyright. Yeah, but I already have a copyright lawsuit that's already in well, place. No, well, copyright, the next step you know, is serving her. That is theft, honey. Like, you know, like, you know, yep. if uh, l l let me let me give an example here. OK, say like, you know, you know, WW WrestleMania. Let's say like, you know, WrestleMania is a pay-per-view event, right? And mm -hmm. I pay like the 70 bucks to, you know, watch paper, uh, WrestleMania here in my house. And then I invite a hundred people here in my house to watch WrestleMania for free. That's illegal. <laughs> you can't do that. They I mean, don't like, care there was about following laws. Neither one of them. They think they have a right to everything we say and do, and they have a right to play it as their own. Every but her and Cooch had seen nothing wrong with it. Well, and that's why they, they look like each other now. Like and Brooke, like you know, you are uh, a stone throw away from looking like Bullcat, like Coot, like 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 Brooke, like you look <laughs> like her now. Like, you know, um and like, you know, I'm I'm just most disappointed with Brooke Graham. Like, you know. She is just like I thought she's always been evil. You know, and oh, like she's you gonna know, interview Keaton and, and the girlfriend again, by the way. That's the newest threat. That's it. I've had enough. I'm in the interview is going down. Yeah. But Siwa, like <laughs> like her channel is like on life support. Like, you know, now that she's been back, like nobody cares about like what she says anymore because they know that she's in like with like the crazy people. And, you know, Brooke, Brooke's time is done. You know, my time is probably done, too. I'm not going to lie. Like, you know, my views are in the fucking shitter, too. I'm not going to lie. Uh, but, uh, you know, Brooke trying to come back and do the same shit that she, that, sh that she used to do. Nobody cares anymore, Brooke. Well, Nobody meanwhile, cares. I'm moving on to other stuff. And they're like, she can't do spirit. We she's not allowed to do spirit box. It's demonic. She's not allowed to cover Jupiter. It's evil. Like anytime I do other content, they are trying to tear it apart and say, I can't do it. But then at the same time, always screaming for me to get my own content. But she's I baiting you because content. she's like, oh, Siwa. Like, you know, when you were gone for weeks, 
like think about go live like month, aren't you members so month. mad that like you know they're, that they're losing money and like you're, you're letting your members down like that was her baiting you to go live so she could go live and talk about it like you know she is a sick I know. sick bitch she's sick and Beyond sick, you know, dude. she's way worse than that and I think I might have to do the second part of my live about the the, the the rest of the charges that she has, I've been holding on to it. <laughs> I've been holding on to it. I've been holding on to it because, like, if you thought the charges I read the first go at it was something, wait. John, you know your camera's on, right? All we see is your ear. <laughs> I don't care. Hi, everybody. I don't care. Um, okay. Yeah, now it's off. Uh, but, okay. like, yeah, like, you know, I've been holding on to this, but Brooke can't stop her fucking self she can't she's sick and like you know she was getting the good money you know kathy passed away so she, that that fucking that well dried up and now you know virgie i think is gone i don't know um and you know all these what do you people mean virgie's that- gone like gone like to the other side the spirit world or gone just not un- no not no no channel. not dead you know oh, okay. um, alive still alive <laughs> okay um, alive still. i was like what the fuck when did but, that happen you know all these people that were you know giving brooke the good fucking money Thank are goodness. gone and now her views are down and um you know brooke doesn't know what to fucking do because she you know she got used to that good money. She got used to that good, good money that, you know, just to attack people. And now that's all dried up. And now Brooke actually kind of has to work again and be a fucking nurse. Oh, you poor thing. Oh, I'm so sorry, Brooke, that you, that you went, that this all that shit went at that. All, all the college you went to, all the nursing you've done. And now you have to like nurse again. Like, because, like, you know, the YouTube well is dried up, and now you're mad. Oh, God. Like, I, like I, you know, you and your husband, like, you know. So, let me get this straight. So, um, uh, Brooke's husband called the cops on her. Uh, Jason's daughter called the cops on Brooke. Brooke called the cops on Jason's daughter. Um, Brooke called the daughter, cops on Jason. Brooke's daughter called the cops on Brooke and yeah, Jason. Yeah, I mean, like, and this is the perfect <laughs> family, y'all. <laughs> it's crazy. But she's the best mom, and she needs to teach me how to be a good mom. She's over there. Her new allegations is that some the the mystery man that's just a friend is grooming my daughter, and that he's touching my daughter, and that um I'm a neglectful mom. And what are the other allegations she said tonight, y'all? I forget what the other ones are. Oh, that my daughter does is not Keaton's. And he's the only man I was with for three, almost four years when I had her. So that's kind of hard to fucking do if you don't touch other people, dumbass bitch. Uh, just she's Wait, throwing out all Chloe, sorts of allegations. What is Chloe Darlin saying here? Cooch made an overlay for playing your what? What? Cooch? What does that say? I can't read it. I don't know. Cooch made an overlay so Stalker could play my video, so I couldn't strike. But y'all, if she's still playing my videos from beginning to end, or the major over half of it, I can still strike. Doesn't matter what she adds to it. So the second y'all let me know that she's playing more than like half a video or more than that, she still gets struck. But Cooch is a big shot now. People are and talking about her. That, the old streams that I already struck, that got put back up because I didn't uh, send in proof fast enough. I could still strike those things. I still have all the links to them. I just got to get pissed off enough to do it. Well, Cooch, you're by right. I'm sure that you could eat Big Bertha's box in like the in in the clink when you're there because you will be there soon, honey. I promise you that. Right, I Chloe. promise you, Cooch, you will be there soon. And like you know, you're by so. You should have no problem with Big Bertha in your fucking cell. And Could you imagine it. Cooch as the pod boss with Cooch the with the bevy of I, women that she she has to her like like all those women she'll be just like hop up on the bed and spread them. <laughs> Sorry, See, <laughs> my bro. problem is that I did not like you know go after Cooch soon enough. Like you know for two years I let her get away with this. I did because I thought after time. <laughs> It would stop, but no, it it did not. So now, you know, you brought this on yourself, mm. Kelly Kroll. You did. You did. You did, Kelly. You did. That's why your brother can't fucking stand you. 
That's why like nobody fucking wants to be around you. That's why the only food you get is from like a super size Big Mac meal number one. That's why you are the person you are now, living in a shitty tenement, uh, eating McDonald's and and watching every move I make. Can we get a orange is a new black? Uh, thumbnail, y'all, but with Cooch's face on it, and the stalkers yes. on one, and Momo's on the other, and Anne's on the other. <laughs> well, let's just use their faces on the orange is a new uh, black cast. Yes, I agree picture. with that. Absolutely, let's do that because these these bitches have gotten away with too much for far too long. They have, they have. I'm wait. Broke calls me a sexual deviant. I am the most boring sexual person in the world, so that's kind of rich. Oh, wait, Brooke, I'm a sexual the one that, I that had somebody... Wait, 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 wait. Brooke, the one that said that somebody paid her $1,000 to, to, to let lick Let another girl go box. down on her while a man watched in college. To, to lick her dirty box, uh, and you're not a sexual deviant, Brooke? Okay. Brooke, the one that, like, you know, made all her money off her father's death. Brooke, you want to get serious? That's what I said Brooke? earlier. But she didn't even have money till that happened. So yeah, why is she trying right. to fix on anybody else? It's time these people, like, you know, it's time. I, I, I can't. They're like, you know, and they're like, they're like fucking senior citizens. Like, which, and Brooke, you are one too, because you look like one at this point. Like, Brooke, oh my God. One of the pictures that, uh, that I've seen, I, I know you hate Jolene. I'm not getting into that, but Jolene has this picture of Brooke, and I was like, what? That's how she's looking? And she was like, see, I turn your camera on. She, I don't go on camera looking like looking like shit. If you want to do that, Brooke, that's your own business. If you don't give a shit how you look, that's fine. But I'm not over here. Like, no, I will never go on screen looking like that willingly. Hell no. So, sorry, Brooke. You're, you're never gonna, I'm, my mama taught me to look presentable before I step out of the house and same if I'm going in public. And there, to me, being on here on camera is going in public. So, no, when I want to i'll be on camera and all the assholes like she don't go on camera for this or this or this i've been on camera 10 times at least i'm sorry you can't go back through and find them to drool over them but i've been on camera multiple times i've just proved the allegations y'all make about my parents multiple times like get the fuck over it Please oh and don't brooke will share like my husband's testicles with everybody that brooke that 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 bitch who when we were in vegas and like we didn't know what to do because we were we were in Vegas and not home. And Such I a sent a nurse. picture of like my husband's testicle to Brooke because she's a nurse. And I said like you know I don't know what to do. Like can this wait? Can like you know we go home okay, and take like, care of this? Know. And then she went ahead and shared that with everybody. You should be shocked. A- she shared Teddy Lynn's nudes everywhere. Anybody who wanted them, that's I mean that's illegal. But she did that. Um, she talks about our victims and makes fun of them. She talks about DV victims and makes fun of them. She talks about children and their paternity and making accusations about that. I mean, this is Brooke, Brooke of all people. Ain't nothing for her to pass around testicle pictures when someone needed medical advice. That ain't nothing new for her. Look what she does to victims of SA and DV. She don't give a shit. She does not care. To her, it's comedy. To her, it's just content. And she's a, a, an alleged victim of DV herself. So why the fuck does she do this? Because what? Wh- why, Brooke? Why do you do this, Brooke? Brooke, everybody fucking hates you. Like Brooke, everybody hates you. Even the You're, people in her crew now, they hate they, her. They they, they hate, hate you, her. Brooke. They hate you. You're a horrible fucking person and i cannot believe that you still have a nursing license i cannot believe that you are still admitted to practice nursing in fucking Mm -hmm. hospitals because you are a horrible horrible human being so much so that your husband and your children call the cops on you right brooke but you want to cast judgment on everybody else right you many 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 times you evil bitch, Brooke. You are a fucking evil bitch. And your time is, your days are numbered, Brooke. You're all going down, sweetheart. I and by the way, he means on YouTube you. before y'all be like, he's threatening to hurt us physically. No, he means on YouTube. Your yeah. time's coming to end on YouTube. No, so but no, don't even read. Time is, like, it, it's, yeah, like you're, you, you, it's people are tired of you. People are tired of like the Anne Maria Brooke threesome. 
that you like, you know, and Brooke, if you were fucking smart, you would have walked away from that long ago, but you can't because you're a follower. You're not a leader. You're not a leader, Brooke. You are a fucking follower. You don't know what to do unless someone's telling you what to do, where to go, who to speak on. That's who you are, Brooke. You are not a fucking leader. You are a piece of shit. That's what you are, Brooke. Didn't Brooke say she want, she didn't want to care for an Aris because of what he did? Yes. She, he wanted water. She didn't want to give him water because of what he did She for the victim. She, she was doing justice for the victim, but to someone who's like that, someone she knows and what they've been through, she don't care. To me, she would do anything. She, In fact, to the guy that did it to me, she wants to make love to him and send money to him and get him a new trial and get him freed. So... I don't know what, I mean, honestly, shouldn't, nobody should be shocked, but I wish so bad someone had the proof of her saying that, that about one of her patients and her pr admitting that she was purposely neglecting a patient's needs to teach them a lesson to get her own justice because holy shit, that job would be gone. That license would be gone. Oh, and Brooke, they, don't forget, I have the, the pictures of you seeing a cast member, pictures of your tits while you're married Ooh, to Jason. really, Miss Sexual Deviant Colin. Okay, Brooke. Because Miss you wanted to Clark. ride, <laughs> Brooke Graham. You, you like you are just an awful human being. You are an awful human being, Brooke. You are. I don't even see her as human. I and her you as are as with the company that you fucking keep. You are just an awful person, Brooke. And like, I cannot sit by and hear you like dog see what anymore. I can like that's all you fucking got, Brooke. That's all you got is just an obsession with Siwa, like. Like, but like, Please girl, do. Brooke, Please. I got all the deets on you, sweetheart. And I, you know what? I've been holding on to it. So. <laughs> ah, There's only I'm two sure. people she could have done it Maybe to. Maybe I should text definitely. Jason. Oh, well, you know what? Um, Can someone get Penelope for me so she could text Jason for me because she, she knows his number. Um, Maybe I should text Jason. All the fucking porn you've been saying to other people online. What? Right Brooke? right, Brooke? Talk about sexual deviant. How many cast members has she paid the OnlyFans stuff to so she can make fun of the the cast member's genital? Who fucking does that? That's a sexual deviant. To to what's that girl that was is Avery Avery from Ninety Day Fiance? She was looking at the girl's JJ and sit there and talking yep. about how it looks like roast beef and shit. That's a fucking sexual deviant. Oh, how about how when she called? I don't want to see none of you bitches when, naked. When, when she made fun of Devin's miscarriage. How about that? Yeah, I have the screenshots from that one. How about I have Devin's miscarriage, Brooke? And and you're do. a fucking nurse, Brooke? Really? You're a nurse and you're making fun of someone's miscarriage? I have no idea, Kelly. And I have your text to me in proof saying, John, Honey? I should never have done that. I was completely wrong. I was just mad at Devin and I made it up. You want to play, bitch? I am I have done. The I am done. I am done with these fucking people. If you didn't think I was done before, I am done right fucking now. Leave me the fuck alone because it's going to be a rainstorm of shit. And if this is how I go out, then it's, I'm going to go out in a hell of gunfire. And this is what's going to happen because, Brooke, I have more on you than fucking anybody in the world, including Muzz, who, and Muzz, who has your fucking clit wrapped around her fucking uh, finger. Right? Right? Right, Muzz? Right, 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 Brooke, because you are so like, you know, you're afraid that Muzz going to drop shit on you. OK, Brooke, I, I have way worse. Way fucking. Well, y'all don't remember that. I have I have the screenshots of her showing uh, Karini and Paul's OnlyFans stuff and then saying she subbed to their OnlyFans and was watches everything they do on OnlyFans. And then she said she subbed to Avery just so she could look up at, at close. She said. Like, I still remember, John, she was on one of your panels and she had, she thought she was muted. She wasn't muted. And she was talking to Jason's daughter, the oldest one, and said, look at that. Look, her vagina looks like a roast beef sandwich. And the daughter was like, ew, why does it look like that? She goes, I know, isn't it gross? That's what you do as a bonding time with your quote unquote 
children. So let's not talk about sexual deviant because I've never but shared then, but nudes then she wants to play with my like kids. The, but then she wants to play the Amber poolside lies about when Amber was talking to her daughter and like all that shit from years ago. But but Brooks yes, know was, better, was. right? Brooks know better. Brooks know better. Okay, Callie, no problem, honey. What an amazing, what an amazing nurse woman. Uh, <laughs> but y'all, she needs to tell me how to be a parent, right? Right. Get something Brooke. I can respect you for as a parent, Brooke. Then maybe you'll make it'll mean something. Oh man, you know, you know, people think like I, I've been holding back on a lot of stuff that I have on a lot of people. And, you know, it's clear that, like, it's never going to end with these people. Like, the fact that Anne attacked Addie when Addie did not even come for, the, for her. For autism as well. Like, so, like, it, can I say what? this? Anne, autism is a spectrum. You can't sit there and make judgments on your, what would you say? her? Well, I think she said her grandson. You talked about your grandson, and he's on the spectrum. And he doesn't do this, and he doesn't do this. It's a spectrum. You cannot compare one person on the spectrum to the next. They are totally different people, totally, totally different uh, icks and triggers, and they're, it's all different. If you know about autism so much, Anne, and your own loved one, I only have a loved one that's on the spectrum, but I even I know that. If you can't even do your own research to know that, you have no business fucking speaking on the autism spectrum. You can't compare and one to the other. Do your research, Anne. Do it. Yo, yo, like I said, y'all, I have the messages. Yahoo Boy sent me the messages of her and Yahoo talking about Devin's abortion. And, well, it's not even abortion, y'all. She, she didn't have an abortion. She lost the baby. So we shouldn't call it an abortion. But I have the screenshot messages of them talking back and forth about it. And her saying, I know that she, she when she was in Utah, she did this. And she, I have, I still have the proof. So, but that's a nurse questioning someone's miscarriage the same nurse that questions are the same nurse that questions tv the same nurse that questions paternity the same nurse that makes fun of children that's that's the same person so i don't know why anybody's shocked you know what and i'm on camera for this one <laughs> my brother has told me that there's somebody who i don't care for That wants to come, like, you know, and give me safe evidence against people that have been fucking with Ooh. me. And, um, you know what? The Yahoo text about um, him fucking with me and Brooke and all that shit. So, yeah, Amber Sherrington, I was not obliged to speak to you. I, you, you tried to sue me in a federal lawsuit. and She's I got wanted, all the dirt. And I wanted nothing to do with you. And I told my step, I told my stepbrother time and time again, no matter what she wants to tell me, I can't talk to her because she did oh, that to me. Yeah. So, but now, hmm, I think that Amber Sherrington, if you want to call me and give me all the information, I'll be happy to show it to everybody to show what they've been doing against me this whole time. And, you know, I'm always made to look like the bad guy. And um, Sherrington has just a lot of proof of what they've been plant plotting and planning and whatever. And I didn't want to do it. I She's said, got proof going back years from the start. Yeah, she does. And I was like, nope, I can't talk to her because she did that to me. Like a feral lawsuit. Like, you know, you, you really can't. You, you can't bounce back from that. Uh, but um, you know what? At this point, Amber Sherrington, give me everything you fucking got because I am tired of these people. And I, like, you know, we need to make sure that these people know like that we're not the crazy ones. And like, I, I get so tired. I get so tired of like, you know, they make us seem like the crazy ones over and over and over again. And, and it's not fair, you know? And then like, you know, 
like they get my reaction, Sigo's reaction, Jules' reaction, whoever, you know. Um, but they don't show like what brought us to the reaction. They never do, ever. So um, Amber, Sherrington, and also like I have an issue with you because of Devin, but if I'm open to it now. And um, if you wanted to do it, I'm game now, officially. So there you go. Because I, I am done. People need to see all the plotting and planning that all these people do. I mean, it's crazy. It, like, y you have to, y you have to, it it's insane. It's insane. The, the, like, what, what, what these people, like, go to. Like, it, they wake up. And, like, you know, I don't live by hate. I don't wake up. Like saying, who can I attack today? And like, you know, you look at their community tabs and like they're attacking everybody, like, you know, and mm -hmm. and I, I, responding to every stream yeah. that's, as it's happening. But they claim they don't watch us. Oh, Muzz has it out for Amber C. Yes. <laughs> Big time. She she blames Amber for posting Draws's wedding invitation when it's not it was Amber had no Nothing in the game that would make her do such. Much is the only one who had a reason to do that. But, I'm, but I've know. talked to Amber, and what I know is that she has, to my, well, actually, I can't say I know, but to the best of my knowledge, she hasn't been involved, and she has withdrawn since the moment that Yahoo and Brooke made up. You know, when you and Brooke fell out, that is when I her the text fell out. from Amber between Amber and Yahoo saying Yahoo was the reason why me and Brooke are no longer friends. <laughs> it was Yahoo plotting against me and Brooke the whole time because Yahoo couldn't take the fact that me and Brooke were friends. Like you, like, you know, uh, you know, I don't want to talk about this shit. I don't all uh, honestly, like look at my channel. All I want to do is talk about my fucking shows, but I, it's, it's very clear that I can't escape this. So, we might as well just go guns fucking blazing and just eviscerate all this bullshit because I'm tired of it. I'm tired of feeling bad. I'm tired of feeling like an, like an asshole. Like, you know, I'm tired of it. I'm tired of it. Like, you know, I mean, I tried to kill myself twice over this. Twice. Nobody talks about that, though. Actually, I, I was talking to someone earlier about uh, getting during this live. I was talking to someone about getting RO against Brooke, and I mentioned that uh, she's driven she's driven two people to make attempts on their lives in the past, and because how dangerous she is, like, she's done. I, it. Like I have tried to kill myself twice over this, twice, and you know. These and the same people keep doing the same shit, and they will never fucking learn, and they don't give a fucking good goddamn. And I can't do this anymore. Like you know, like what? Like <laughs> it's been so bad for me. I'm not trying to like you know be a martyr or like you know feel bad for me. Uh, you know, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. But the, the truth is, the record shows that like I did try to take my life two times in the scope of six months because of this. First time, um, maybe it wasn't like, you know, maybe it wasn't like, I, well, you know, you know, I'm trying to talk like them and like they brainwash me, and, which is sad. The first time, when they said it was cat, cat scratches and Heidi was the one that leaked that I was out of the hospital, you fucking cunt. Um, I just want a piece. And then the second time with Jim Bailey in December, I mean, I went for, I went for it. Yeah, that, that, that was intense, those pictures. And, um, you know, there, there. People say like I tried to make money off of it. If I tried to make money off suicide, I'm sorry. Why not Steve. say that word? I'll, I'll send you some money. I'll I will send you money when I 21st. I'm sending you money. I promise you. 
Um, but it's, you know, they're saying like, you know, Maria and Anne and Brooke and Christy Denver, their witnesses saying like, I tried to end my life, um, in June of June 14th. Um, and then I had to listen to them every day, go live for six hours saying I'm a faker. I'm trying to make money off of it. When I showed what I made from Cash App and PayPal and whatever, and I made like what three hundred dollars. Meanwhile, I was in the the nut house, and Cody had control of my phone. And then in December, um, <laughs> you know, I really went for it because I couldn't take another second of them analyzing my wrists, putting my picture, my wrist pictures on. You don't know what that's, nobody knows what that's like (laughs) to, you know, calling my wrist pictures cat scratches and you you just, you know, when you try to take your life and then, then there's a ton of people who you thought were your friends for years, dissecting it every second of every day. Nobody knows. I hope that nobody will ever understand that because it's a really bad place that you're in. So all these people like Maria Denver, um, who tried to be my friend and help me. And then they're all saying I made it up and I was trying to make money off of them. And, like, so that's why I did that in December. But, John, I, if they truly thought that, then why didn't they leave or walk away? And to, why did it take you having Amber and you to have a truce for them to actually walk away? Wait, what? Well, if they truly thought you faked your attempt each, whichever time, if they truly thought you were trying to do that, then why didn't they walk away? Uh, sooner than that, why did they wait for you and Amber to make up, which pissed them off? Why did it take that for them to walk away? And then all of a sudden they're like, yeah, well, we walked away because he faked his attempt. Clearly, they're just using that as justification for wanting to drag you. It was never about your attempt that made them walk. It was always about you went behind what they thought was behind their back. I made good with Amber. That was it. Yes, that's that's what pissed them off. Not this uh, scam as they're saying. But um, yeah, okay, so um, for like the longest, Anne, Maria, Brooke, Christy, Denver, and fuck you, Denver. Um, but um, they were all like in my, all my corner and like, you know, saying like, you know, this is all true. They, they got <laughs> articles written about them and shit like that. And um, then I was at Angela's house and um, um, we were there because um, her daughter was sick and we were helping her out. Because people don't understand the relationship that I have with Angela. They all think that, like, you know, we're, you know, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a shitty blogger and I, I'll do anything it is to do to, to get a story. And I've been at this for a fucking decade. Like, <laughs> You know, so um, we were there at Angela's, and Angela wasn't even there because <laughs> we were trying to help out her daughter. You know, Scotty. I can't talk about Scotty, but fuck it, Scotty. Um, Scotty is on complete kidney dialysis, and um. Every day, she has to go to dialysis like three times a day. Like it, it's really bad. She needs like a kidney, and um, and the rep that Scotty got was not accurate. And um, Scotty is a great girl. Um, we're going to agree to agree on that. Well, well, see what you don't know. You don't know what I know. Okay. And I know, but there was nothing there's, about that case listen, that wasn't really bad. Scotty got sentenced to 20 years. She served two and came out because... Yeah, I don't know how that happened. The court fe- because it wasn't true. What the... the? Do you think I'd be, like, hanging out with them if Scotty was, like, what they claim her to be? 
Can I be? I mean, I feel like you kind of had to hang out with her just because no, she lives there and no, it's Angela's no, daughter. So you had to no, up with it. No, no, that would ruin me. That would ruin me. Like, I was one of the first people that reported on Scotty. Like, you know, with that, and um, I, I would never go there. You know, that that's suicide. Well, not no, it's, it's it's blogger at suicide. Uh, like to do that. Um, and, um, you know, I know a lot of people aren't going to believe it, but like, you know, Scotty's not the demon that people think she is. And Scotty is one of my most favorite people on earth. Um, she's funny and smart and she is not, and I, I spent a lot of time with them and, and Scotty and, um, you know, she's a good person. Um, and that's why, oh God, I don't want to overstep what I have to say here. Cause I'll get well, don't overstep. Uh, I'm just saying like, you know, you know they're going to drag you feel for that. And no, you got to understand no, no matter you know, what. I've got dragged for Scotty already. I get it. I, I get it. I know, but no matter what you share about her, no matter what you say about, I learned this since then, nothing's going to change anybody's view on her because of what happened in court and there's nothing that's you're never going to be able to fix her image. You're never going to be able to fix it. But what I can say is that Cody, come here, please. What I can say is that Scotty got sentenced to like 25 years and she served like a year and a half and she got released because we're talking about Scotty. Can you just like say something about, you're not helping me. I don't, what do you want me to say? I've already said it. What? She's an amazing person. She's one of our very, very good friends. She's family. And she anything you ask for, she will bend over backwards and help you. Think about it. God, think about it, guys, for a second. Like if Scotty was so awful, she would not have her kids in the same house as her. Like, you know, it's... Not. I always wonder how that how she's able to be around because those children. She's not because she's not that exactly person, Siwa. Not. She's not. Once you register as an offender, Listen, you can't Scott, be around children at all, I thought. Listen, the person already admitted to the cops also that it was all fake, that it was not real. And the police were like... I, I, that's it's not, it's, not it's not my story to tell. No, it's not. But I mean, it's. it's but if it's they came true. forward and said it was all lies and that they lied to the police, so would it that would it there be a court hearing to get that in entered as an evidence that it was all lies and all fake? I can't speak on this. I I I, I probably well, already don't get yourself in trouble. I, I probably overstepped already. Um, but what I can say is like you know, if Scotty was such a, like a danger. She would not have her kids in her house or be around kids or anything else, you know, and that's, that's it, you know, um, <sighs> uh, it's, it's, a, it's, it's a difficult situation for sure. And like I said, I don't even think if you came out and had proof, she was a saint, you're still not gonna be able to fix, unfortunately, no, but no, absolutely. Fine. But like, you know, <laughs> She's she's a good girl, and um, she's sick, and she's dying pretty much. Um, so um, we had to go down there to circle back to this, how this came out. Um, Angela was in Nigeria, and um, Scotty was about to die. Um, she had like sepsis, like you know. Um, from the port from her dialysis and we we went down there and um um th that's when the whole amber thing came up and we were there like you know trying to take care of you know the, the situation and um amber was my biggest enemy at that point and she was a real cunt Oh God, Amber was the worst. I, um, I know that for sure. She I was went, one of the big targets. She, she, <laughs> she went oh, lower than low than low when she went after me, but she's not done the dang since. So she was the worst man. Want. And um, you know, I did a live. Um, 
and then I called Amber after Amber was in the chat and she was being a bitch. And I called her and I said, what the fuck? I can't anymore. And then we, we, we talked it out and um, we're good. And we've been good for like two and a half years now. When was the last time you talked to her? Everybody, Brooke's been bragging that she, Amber's gone and she chased her off the internet, but everybody's wondering, is she good? When was the last time you talked to Amber? <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, she's bragging about it that she chased her off of YouTube. Yesterday? Oh, okay. So, y'all, she's fine. <laughs> I hope Amber comes back just to prove a point, but I doubt she will. I mean crazy <laughs> um <coughs> you know and i'm laughing because like when we were live at angela's house while i was live with michael and amber had actually called my phone while i was live and scotty picked it up <laughs> and um amber was telling everybody that uh heidi was live saying that how she, she was gonna get uh, Michael on her channel, and I'm like, okay, Heidi Black, you go ahead. And I get am Michael so on glad your he channel. didn't go over there. How yeah. embarrassing! I mean, but but I, I was live with, like with 2,500 live viewers watching on YouTube while Heidi was live with 32. So 2,500 <laughs> versus 32. I mean, I broke all my my records for like live viewers on YouTube on that one. Well, we but. know she wouldn't even care if it wasn't tied to you somehow. But, uh, yeah, uh, Heidi was saying how she was going to have Michael up on her channel and she was going to interview him. So Amber had called, but I was live and I, uh, I couldn't pick it up the phone. So, uh, my phone was on the counter uh, on, on the table. Scotty picked up and she talked and then, you know, then Angela talked to her for a hot second and, um, then that, that's how I found out that, that Heidi was being, you know, Heidi. Um, and whatever, but, uh, a backstabber, nothing new. Yeah. Um, and see what, and to everybody else, like, you know, who are listening, like, you know, Scotty is, she's a good person. I promise you she would not be out of jail after a year and a half. If things uh, like, you know, I love Scotty and you could hate me for that. But she is a good person. Your prerogative. She's a good person. And um, she got the raw deal. Um, and I will defend Scotty until I have one more breath in my body. Because she's a good person. Um, and, like, you know, I can't talk about Scotty ever. You know, because... It's like, <laughs> well, you know, fucked up tonight. <laughs> it's taboo. We can't talk about Scotty. But, um, you know... Unless you could get the, the, unless the victim becomes an adult and comes forward and says, "I lied about everything," no one, you're, no one's going to change their opinion. Of like I said, it's no one's going to take your word for it. But That's doesn't anybody feel like to... that? She, if she was released from jail like so early, like w there was a mistake. It's, it's confusing how she was released from jail from twenty years to only two. It's confusing how she's allowed in the house around all the children. Very because confusing. She didn't do very anything. Because I know, she's not really, the person that they definitely her to be off about it. That's why. That's why. Yeah, because well, I remember the first time you went over there. I think we were still cool at that time, and you had done a live, and you, we saw Scotty walk in the camera for the first time. I messaged Mom and Corey. I was like, "What the fuck is John doing? There? Why is Scotty there around all those kids?" And Mom and Corey is like, "She would never do anything to those kids." And I mean, me and her kind of disagreed with each other because like uh i don't think she should be around all those children but anyways like i remember how shocked i was the first time when i found out she was there around the kids i was like how is she how is she allowed to be there so not the, you know but it's she's mm. well if, if the kid came forward and said it was all lies and it was she they did it for whatever reason i hope that he the, you know, they come forward and clear their name or, or clear her name because if she's dying, that's what she's going to be known as the rest of her time unless it's cleared up. Nope. Not as long as I have anything to do with it. Nope. Um, you know, but, you know, it's, you know, whatever. 
the point is going back to like this thing. I called Amber that night and um, we worked it through. And at, since then, that was like two and a half years ago. Um, we've been great. Just like, you know, me and you have been great. See us since like June, you know, with the court case. And like, you know, me and Jules have been good since like, you know, you know, I guess, I don't know, uh, November or like whenever. But, um, you know, when I, you know, make amends with somebody, I mean it. And I'm not going to, to fall back on them, which was the point. And like, you know, going back to Amber, the reason why they all fucking turned on me was because I made good with Amber. And, um, you know, but that wasn't before that Maria asked me to take, asked, asked me to ask Amber to take down 100 videos. Then mm-hmm. Brooke asked me to ask Amber to take down 100 videos. Then um, Kathy asked, 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 Amber, asked me to ask Amber to take down her videos. And Amber did everything I asked her to. With, like, you know, with us just being friends again for, like, for one day. And Amber did it all. And, like, I never even asked Amber to take my videos down. I just take my name out of your titles. Like, they were, going for the, they're, they were going for it. I said, just, I'm like, you know, keep your videos up. Just take my name off. Like, that's all. And Amber did it. Yeah, she took down videos about me, too, about the trial, you know, the court situation. And about three years ago, she wanted me to delete the poolside videos I had. And I did. And I haven't put them back up since. You know, and I, you know, I've, you know, since since then, me and Amber and have been great. And I'm happy that me and you, Siwa, have our relationship now. And um, and I'm happy that I'm good with, you know, Jules, like, you know, if you, if, if someone told me that, that I'd be on your live, like, or being friends with you and Jules and Amber, I'd be like, you're all fucking crazy. Like, I would never, <laughs> I would never, ever, ever have thought that, like, I would be friends with y'all again. Like, you know, um, because of all, like, the shit that went on between all of us and, um, you know, I stick to my word. I do. And, um... Um, I'm grateful for all my relationships now that I have with y'all. I, I really am. And, um, <laughs> it, it's, you know, people just don't like that. They don't like that. Like, you know, they said that we all like teamed up because like, you know, we're all, you know, trying to get them, but like, you know, my yeah, but the ones bitching about it are the same ones that have also gone to you asking for a truce. And when they wanted a truce and link up with you, it was okay. But now that they're on the outs and th- their enemies have a truce, now it's like, y'all are backstabbers, you're soft, you're flip floppers. Like I said, if it was, they were allowed to do it, they would do it too. So they need to well, shut Well, let me tell you up. something. Um, Anne, Maria, Brooke, and Jen are on my unforgivable list. So, um, if you ever see me talking to either of them, or or any of them, you have the right to come to my house and take a knife and stab my eyeballs out. That was violent. Well. (laughs) um, Yeah, I would be out for, like, I would have to back off for any of those assholes. And I know you and Brooke had a close relationship, friendship, (laughs) And I know you thought the world of her at the time, but she's always been fucking evil. She just used you to get to Yahoo. Yeah. It's never been about anything else. So, um, yeah, I, I like, you know, I don't want anything to do with them. Like, I have my list and like, I know people can't comprehend, like, you know, your your followers and mine, like that me and you are talking and we're friends mm-hmm. and. It that, was uncomfortable like, for all channels, but <laughs> yeah, um, like you know, me and me and Jules, or me and uh, or me and Amber, you know, me and Amber have been friends, like you know, out of all the three, like the longest. Yeah, but, y'all been friends long. Um, like when I make a pact and I decide to, like you know, I, I stand by it, and you know, see what wants to come at me tomorrow, or Jules, or even Amber, and they want to say John Yates is a big piece of shit. Then I will go live and say like I appreciate them their 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 commentary and I love them and I and that's all like you know I'm not gonna fight with y'all like you know we're we're at that point where we're good and 
you know, I know that you, Siwa, I know that Jules, and I also know that Amber are smart enough to know when people are trying to be, like, you know, assholes and trying to, like, you know, stir the pot, too, you know? Mm -hmm. And I would hope that, like, you know, the three of you would, like, come to me and say, like, you know, this person said this, and we're, you know, that's all. Um, But, um, you know, it was very, very hard for me to listen to this shit when I tried to kill myself twice, when I tried to, like, you know slit my wrist and um <laughs> I mean like I, I don't know what to say anymore other than like you know vault is horrible you know um I I you know I I never tried to be a liar I never tried to be like anything that I'm not um I, I just tried to be like some blogger who's an asshole. I am, I am an asshole. Like I, I you know, I, I take pride in that. Like I am an asshole. I'm a New Yorker. Like, you know, <laughs> you either get me or you don't. Like that's that's my appeal. Um, there's no middle area with me. Like I'm either like you love me or you hate me and like that's it. Um but I I do try to you know I don't know. I don't even know what I try anymore, to be honest with you. I, I, I tried so, I tried so many fucking things, and, like, uh, I come to, like, I just try all the goddamn time, and, I mean, it is what it is. Um, I'm just hoping and praying Friday goes good, and everybody gets the resolution. It won't be over fun. Friday, Siwa. I think it will. No, it won't. There might be one more continuation because of how many witnesses, but... I'm hoping that the judge least, put her foot least, down and refuse. No, Tiwa, at least two more. And That's when crazy. they're spacing them out six weeks at a time at this point. Yeah, your lawyer needs to be like, look, y'all been this has been drug this has been drug drug on draw I can't even think which word I want to say. This has been <laughs> Drugged on for uh, that's not the word either. Since October, dragged on. That's the word I was looking for. This has been dragged on since October. You keep putting these these September hearings six weeks apart, four weeks apart, and it's gone on long enough because at the end of the day, you're having to suffer for it. All the witnesses have to suffer for it, and them not getting a resolution to it, and no more putting it off six weeks ahead. We need a week ahead of time if we're going to do a continuation at all, because that's not fair at all that you are the ones that have to deal with the repercussions every time it's extended and she does it so far. Again, if she would just do the, the things earlier in the morning, she could fit in all the witnesses in the, the, the same day, not have to split. I mean, doing it at three o'clock and the courthouse closes at five, of course it's going to be split up again. You know, like your lawyer's got to put a stop to it. Cause that's just not right. Oh, it's, <laughs> I know it's stressful, but you've gone this far. You can't throw in the towel now. Or you are, did all that $15,000 for nothing and all those times for nothing and everybody missed work for nothing. You got to stay the course. I don't know anymore. You like know, I said, imagine what would happen if you threw in the towel. How bad do you think Momo would get after that? It would be so much worse than anything you're dealing with now. So... If she thinks she'd get away with it, she's going to go balls to the wall as she normally does. And like I said, her bragging rights would never end. But see what? This takes a toll on me. Like every, like, you know, I've been at this 10 times already with court. Like 10 times. Like you you just psych yourself up every fucking, it's not easy. Uh, No one one would say it was easy. No one. For both sides, it's not easy. Everyone thinks, like, you know, you show up to court, like, it's, you know, to have to, like, you know, psych yourself up and, like, have to, like, relive like, relive all this stuff. And, like, they're pulling up shit I said, like, from, like, a decade ago. Like, you know, and, like, God, like, I don't know how that's, like, you know, fruitful, but whatever. Like, you know, I, I for me, like, you know, every time we've had court and now we're at the 10th time. That's insane. Like, I, I just. I mean, you're right. Never heard of a protective order going on this long because usually protective order means you need it pretty quick, not 10 months from now, 11 months, 12 months. It drains the life out of me. And like, you know what also drains me when they're attacking Sophie, Jules, you, you're my, you're one of my witnesses. Mm-hmm. Um, 
you know, and they attack you over and over again. And then Heidi attacks you and Brooke attacks you. And like, all oh, like, you know, it yeah, weighs, but they're going to do it without being a witness. If they do it because it weighs it. on me, Siwa. Yeah, but that's I, not your fault. They do it no, because it is. I, it it, it is not. my fault. It is my fault because I'm asking you to be a witness for me. So it John, is my they fault. Drafted it me before is I my even fault. was a witness. It is my fault. I'm asking y'all to be a witness for me. It is my fault. And like when I they didn't start dragging us and y'all being attacked, Siwa, it weighs on me. Well, I'm telling you, it's not your fault because they've been doing it way before court even was a thing. So that's just new on me. And people just don't know. It weighs on me to see like the the community tabs about y'all and like you know the lives and like you know how they're threatening you in court and this that and the other it's it's a mockery of like you know and I'm the one that initiated it because I wanted a restraining order against this horrible woman that won't leave me alone and like this they found a way to extend this for fucking almost a year. Like, and it weighs on my soul. Like, you know, you, you guys think I'm narcissistic, that I don't care about people, that I have no soul, that I don't care. Like, <laughs> y'all have no idea how much this weighs on my, weighs on me. Like, it, like, it, it's a lot. And like, I even had Danielle Jabali come up and and testify for me and you know they they eviscerated her and like made fun of her and like like i i just and now like you know i hear jen bailey is saying like that um she she had recordings of court testimony yep. about sophie about sophie about sophie's testimony they knew details that no one else knew nobody else could know. never talked about the only people that can record which i'm not recording because like, i don't want to go to jail is yeah. me and Maria. Only me and Maria can see everything going on in court. Mm -hmm. That's Only what I me and Maria can record anything, you know, if we wanted to. And, you know, now Jen Bailey is saying, like, you know, and, like, I heard what Jen Bailey said, and I know Jen's a liar, but the stuff that she no, said... She details that only the the stuff knew. that she said was would only be known... If you heard the fucking testimony. So as much as I despise Jen Bailey, like what she said was factual. Because when they were talking about so, you know, and and the judge, don't forget in June, the judge yelled at them for recording the lies. Yep. I remember that. And I you told them then you're not allowed to record in court. If you do it, you're going to get in trouble. Like you're going to get a charge against you for contempt of court and they did it anyways. But I hear Jen. I hear what she's saying. And like, you know, I'm like, oh, Jen, you're crazy. But like, I, I heard what she had to say about court. And like, you know what? The, the thing she said would only be known if she heard the court testimony. And, um, <laughs> well, Anna Momo said that's, she was a liar. Jen's a liar. The only reason anybody knows about what was said in court is because Sophie was telling everybody what was said in court. And Sophie's Sophie like, didn't so tell one clip soul. of me telling anybody what was said in court and they can't, they, they don't have it. It doesn't exist. So, Sophie so, didn't tell a soul. I, you know, Sophie's smarter than that. Okay. Yeah. Cause that could be troublesome. That could be a problem. And but she sure as hell wouldn't be telling Jen Bailey of all fucking people. Exactly. And, you know, to hear Jim Bailey say this stuff, I'm like, oh, my God, they really did record it. Like, you know, and, like, they're passing it around. And, like, you know, it, it's a big fucking joke to them. And, like, I don't, I, I, I you know, Siwa, <laughs> I, I don't know what to do anymore about anything, to be honest with you. Like, I am questioning everything in my life. And... I, I, you know, I, I've tried to go many ways about things and, you know, 
the legal route and look how how fast this got me and I know I don't mm -hmm. know. I don't know. I can only I can only imagine because if I like say your biggest pain in the ass is Momo and my biggest pain in the ass is Stalker and I can only imagine if I finally got the money to get a lawyer and was able to like brought it before the court and it her evading being served for five six months and then doing continue it's like you can't you know I can only imagine how stressful that is and also be questioning everything you want to throw in the towel but you like said you you can't do it because. You'll never forgive yourself if you walked away from the chance to get something done about her and walk away from the chance of teaching her that she can't do these things to people. But it's You'll all on me. And then it's all on me, right? Like every like I know, I'm the right? one that has to take Maria down. Like, you know, it's all on me. Like all these people that Maria's been fucking over for years, it's all on me. Cause I'm the only person who's ever decided to go against her and like, you know, file. And it, it's it's a lot like I just I, I, I really do hope that people understand like it's not an easy road. And well, like, you people know, people who are not your fans are rooting for you. Like said, uh, there's a few people that are like, I can't stand John, but I hope he wins because she's horrible and she's a monster and she deserves it. So like even people who have had nothing but bad things say about you for years, they're also like he deserves the R.O. He, he should win. So. Don't try not to get too discouraged. You know, that's easier said than done because there's a lot of people out there that are rooting for you to get, to get a resolution to her. Because know. she's been stalking Danielle for how many years now? 11. Which she claims, oh, we're good. We're, they, we got a, we get along and we made really? a truce. Because Danielle out. testified against Maria in court for me. So I don't know mm -hmm. how she can say that. That's what she's been saying for three years is that they worked it out and made a truce. <laughs> Don't know how that's possible. I mean, I I have Marie's own twin sister testifying for me against her. <laughs> but, yep. Like when we know. first signed in in the court, the bailiff was on there, and I saw Heidi, and uh, but he went each person that signed in. He says, "All right, well, state your name and who you're here for." And I was like, "I'm." See what moon and I'm here for John Yates side. And then uh, Heidi, who are you? And who she's like, I'm Heidi Black and I'm here for Maria. So and so I got to see uh Anna in court with her camera on and she looks just like Maria, but she looks 20 to 30 healthier. years younger. Yes. Healthier. Healthier and healthier. And she actually looks like she knows what skincare is. Yeah. But I saw those two in court and Heidi looked pissed off when she had her camera on and the bailiff was going through she looked madder than hell that she had to be in there with me and anna well heidi better be careful because like there's you know i i you know i i, I still can't understand like why heidi why maria thought heidi be a, a good reference when like she testified against maria in court saying that maria deserted her finger against for a man in prayer jar like i, I don't understand that but okay um, and Christy Denver, like you, your husband did my taxes for four years. So, and you paid my rent, right? Christy Denver. So like, okay, so what, what are you going to say? Christy Denver against me and Brooke Graham, a witness. Okay. Brooke. That's uh, laughable. Um, She's the biggest stalker of the crew. You know, it, it's, you know, but it, it's very hard for me to like, you know, I've been, it's it's 10 times 10 different hearings like i you know and then you psych yourself up and you're hoping it's, it's gonna be the last day and then nope gotta do it again yeah i, I know yeah, the, the it, anxiety that goes in that and like the funny thing is see what is like you know when we got you know when maria served both of us with ro's um we i would have never talked to you again if it wasn't for her doing that no and i was begging you i'm like Siwa, talk to me because he was still hating me, like, like the death. Uh, <laughs> yep, and I, I was trying to protect her. I'm like, no, call me. You know, this is like, you know, like, you know, um, but. <sighs> they're, she's so, they're so pissed off we talked, but they're the ones that, I mean, they pretty much forced the hand. So be mad at yourself. You know, and um, when me and Siwa got served back in June, like we both appeared, like, you know, I had an attorney. I didn't run from being served. Neither did John. No, just yeah, certain, and we got that settled that day, 
And now, like, you're gonna, you know, you're gonna tell me, like, you're not worried, like, you're not a liar, you're not a faker for, like, you know, and like, we're like, you know, seven months into this and you're still avoiding it. The constant stress of wondering when they're going to knock at the door to serve you, you would think that would be enough for her to be like, please just give me the papers so I don't have to worry about you showing up at my job and showing up at my home and show like, that's how bad she was worried about what was going to happen. She was willing to deal with that stress and that fear of when are they going to knock at the door? When are they going to catch me? But it was worth it just for her because she, she knows what the outcome is going to be, I feel like. Well, we'll see, I guess. So, um, I don't know. <laughs> well, a lot's been said. I I'm glad that it's right around the corner. The the well, I know you're not excited about it, but no, nope, it's right around the all. corner. I react badly to this. Like, you know, I, I you know, I, I don't, know. I don't like, like, you know, I don't wake up and like, you know, I can't wait for court today and I can't wait, you know. It's stuff that, like, I don't want to go through, um, and it's just, it's torture at this point. It, it really is torture. It's fucking torture. It is, it, it, it is torture, like, and I've, you know, every time that we have to, like, you know, you know, get ready for court, and it's just, it's, it, it, it it's a lot on you. It's, you know, especially when they're paying, they're playing clips of me saying bad things about people from 10 years ago. Like, okay, I said that. Yeah, I'm controversial. Yeah, I, I've said shit about a lot of people, you know, um, but. We all have bad clips out there, honestly. <laughs> we all have the bad clips, but. Yeah, I hope that the other side, the, your people are playing the clips of what she's been doing to people. And going after the children and going after families and all that jazz. You know what, Siwa? Maria will never, she's never going to stop. She is never going to stop. That is right. She's she never going to see anything wrong in what she does. Let's say I win and she will never stop. No, she's going to gear speed. She's going to gear up more towards me, Sophie, Jules, anybody else. Because she knows she can't talk about you. And it's, it's fucked up, you know, um, but she's never going to stop. Bald cat who, who poses as my, as my cat, Georgie will never stop. And certainly will never fucking stop. And when I told y'all that she was my eight year Twitter stalker, like, like, hello. I'm hello? still shocked by that. I had no idea she was involved that long. Oh yeah. I thought she just randomly found me. Uh, oh. three years ago, just stumbled across the channel because she was one of the first ones that would leave comments. Like she's Jade and her. I remember the first videos I ever put out. There's Anne and Jade. Like they were they were here that long, and I was like, I guess they just randomly found me. I had no idea that whole time I was friends with her. I had no idea that she had been involved that long. And I I just want to say this before I get off. Um. Mm -hmm. I know I have a I I have a very good support team behind me. I do. And um they have told me time and time again, John, <laughs> do not talk about it, do not air it. And um I feel bad for them my moderators, my mod group, um, because I clearly cannot stop from defending myself, just like you, Siwa. Yeah, I'm the same way. You know, or I feel Jules. like we light on. It's very, very hard for people to sit and listen to people just make bold-faced lies about you and your family and for you not to fire back, like, you know, it, it's impossible. It's, Especially it's, for things that you know you would never, ever, ever fucking do. It's, it's, exactly. And, um, you know, you kind of have to fire back. Um, and, you know, I, I know that I let my team down. 
I'm I'm sure they're mad that like I'm on this live right now and I said the stuff I said tonight. Um and it's probably warranted. Um but that this is me and you know, unless you're sitting in my shoes or Siwa's shoes or Jules or Amber, whoever, you're not going to understand what it's like. You know, and maybe me more than most because I do have connections to, like, cast members from the shows. I, 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 I you know, and God, I, I keep, you know, I am mentioned in articles and I do have connections, and, you know, and I am a bigger name than the rest of them. And I'm stupid for allowing myself to get dragged down by these fucking cunts that just want to destroy me and my name and my reputation. They and just want to hurt people. They don't care what the repercussions yeah, are yeah, or what it's yeah. deserved. And it's my fault again because I should know better. I should know, like, you know, I'm a public figure, so I should not even, like, engage this. I should not talk about it. Like, you know, it is what it is. And, like, but for, you know, and, you know, I tried that. Um, I tried going, you know, um, after the pain interview, when I had painted on, uh, January of last year, I had painted on and like you know that big interview that like you know people are still talking about. Mm -hmm. uh, I decided to distance myself from all my friends, so I wouldn't go in selfie chat. I wouldn't go in um, your. Chat. I wouldn't go in anybody's chat, like you know, because I didn't want to be tied to it anymore. Yeah, it takes right back up when you are, so I, I understand that. And that was my bad, because I should never have given my friends up for... Because I thought maybe, like, in Jess, they would leave me alone. I thought, like, you know, in, in that time, um, I, 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 I stopped talking to all my other YouTube friends who had my back, and I was wrong for that. No, you weren't. No, no I was. None of us would blame you for that. I was wrong for that. I was wrong. It's not about I, us. It's about I, doing what you need to do for your mental health. So a who lot cares? of my YouTube friends talk about this stuff because we're all being attacked at, at the same time. And um, I decided that I um, I shouldn't be involved in that anymore. And I wrote everybody off. All my friends. I like the only live I was in was in was my live, and mm -hmm. uh, I thought that that was like the right way to go, and I neglected my friends with their YouTube channels, and you know because I thought like you know let me get away from them, and if I do then I'll be away from the whole situation. But you know what happens is that that didn't work. It didn't work. And, you know, now, you know, after the Angela thing when, when I went to Georgia and um, people were saying, like, you know, John, don't go in Sophie's chat. Don't go in Siwa's chat. Don't go in Jules's chat. Don't, you know... Don't go into chats. Like, you know, if you want to be if you want to be a professional blogger, which I've been for a decade, but whatever. Um, right. if you want to be a professional blogger, Just don't stay away from it. in these people's chats where they're talking about the people that hate you. And this time around, I said no. I said, I can't do that. I said, these are my friends. And as much as I want to get away from, like, the Marias, the Anns, and the Brooks, these are my friends, and they support me, and I can't, I, I can't cut those cords again. I, I did that once, and I lost a lot of friends over it. I yeah, but, John, I don't think any, the ones that you're mentioning now, me included, nobody who, who's been on this end, who's been attacked by the, that, that group, 
none of us would sit here and fault you one second if you said, hey, I just know I do support you. I just need to stay out of the chats because I can't, I don't want to be sucked back in. Not one person would fault you for that. Hell, I've disappeared for a month uh, before and Jules has taken breaks and we all take breaks when we need to. Don't ever think you have to be in the chat. I'm or not going like to abandon y'all. I'm not. I did that once. No, it's but I, I hear what you're saying. I did that once, but like, you know what, Siwa? Um, then I get messages like, you know, um, about like, you know, y'all like defending me like, and, and I'm nowhere to be found. And that makes me feel like shit. Cause like, you know, I'm not in your chats and you're defending me. And like, you know, I'm not there. And then you like, you know, you get alive. It's, 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 it's not, a, it's not as easy as it looks. I promise you. Um, but you got to think of it. They're going to say something regardless. If you're in the chat, they're going to say something. If you're not in the chat, they're going to say something. So you got to choose what's just the better option. And because they're going to say shit, something no matter what. So you do. what do you think, Siwa? I have, I have two roads to go down. Either I just say in my lane on my YouTube channel and never go in anyone's chats like you, yours, or Jules, or Kendra's, or... Um, whoever's else, because you know it's talking about drama. Like mm -hmm. I can't so do that. You want to, or if you want to just go down the path of only doing the ninety day stuff, then do that. Not like I said, no one's going to fault you for that. No, we're not going to be like, how dare he's not there. Just keep in touch and say, just let you know I'm still supporting you, whatever. But. You don't don't feel forced to be here, even though that's what you want to do. No, so I don't. Different. No, I don't feel forced to be here at all. Like, listen, I asked you for the link. Like, no one's forcing me to be here right now. No, no, no. I'm not. I don't feel forced at all. I want to support my friends. Like, my friends support me. And, you know, <laughs> I was rogue for a long time, Siwa. Like, you know, I like I I. I said, fuck you to everybody. Everybody. Mm -hmm. Every I fucking... I, I said, fuck you to, to everybody. And I was rogue and by myself for a long time. And you know what? Going back into this, like, I feel the warmth of your chats. And, and you know... I realized what I was missing. You know, it's it's very easy to say fuck everybody and I'm going down my lane, which I've done for like the last two years. Um, but honestly, um I've been very I've I've been happier with me being in your chat again and me being with Jules and me being with uh, Amber and whoever else, you know, like I felt the warmth from all of you and I, I would much rather have that than being rogue and alone and icy. And, you know, if that's how it's going to have to be, then that's how it's going to have to be. You know, I, I would much rather have my friends with me then ignoring them. And, um, you know, people can say, like, you know, I understand John for not wanting to be in their chats, but, like, you're all supporting me. So if I'm not in your chats, then what, is, what does that say about me to you? It's, 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 me, it not, doesn't say, because I've detached many times. I, like I said, I know you would be there. Like, you, I know you're still supportive. So, I know that there's times when I'm live, I don't see in the chat. I know there's a good chance you're probably in the bushes or, you know, or I just say, oh, he just didn't get a notification. No big deal. I don't, I don't read too much into it, but if it, if you still want to be in the chat, maybe just, I don't know, maybe a solution is getting a sock account and only letting a few know. So no, you're still no, showing no. support. No, 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 no. I've never had oh, a sock account and I'm not going to start now. No, no, no. Okay. No, 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 uh, no, 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 no. Like, I speak on my own. Like, I don't hide. Well, and then the at the end of the day, it's just up to you. What's the pros and cons of being in the chat versus not being in the chat? It's, it's what you can live with because your mental health gets affected, I think, the most out of everybody because they have such deep things about you, um, especially with failing members and stuff of that nature. So I think it's, a, it's your decision as far as what you want to do with it. But 
you cannot sacrifice your mental health to show us support when it's not going to make anything anything better you know it's only going to make things harder on you sorry like that was I mean, everyone will still be there in your lives and everyone will still be there when you're doing your content and everything so it's not like it's going to change anything every like you're pretty much making it known you want to be there but i think all of us collectively would be like you need if you need to step back step back like if you need to take a breather and not be in the chat because all the shit going on then do that especially with the court situation i mean I that's what to say on. I, I think it's safe to say, like, the, like you know, like, the, I'm ingratiated in all of this, like, you know, um, and I can't do anything about that, like, you know, and even if I don't say anything about, you know, I'll have a member of mine in your chat, and they'll blame it on me, and you know that, Siwa. Oh, yeah. Like, I know. You know, so, like, I might as well... Just being vocal in your chat, like you know, like you know, because I get yelled at, like Julie, Julie, for example, when Julie was going off on people with with on YouTube and and IG, like you know, you know, Julie, <laughs> I love Julie with all my heart. She's my best friend. She um, went hard for sure, yeah. But Julie went hard, and like you know, when Julie was going hard on people, it was blamed. I got blamed. I got blamed for it because of Julie's actions. Well, that's so, funny because when you go hard at people, Julie gets blamed for it. So. <laughs> and I love Julie. Um, she's my beefer. Like I love Julie. She's she's my number one. Um, and she and like we all know that. Like you know, we all know that me and Julie are like you know, um, we're a team. Um, but like, you know, when Julie says stuff and uh, Lord knows I've told Julie a million times, Julie, shut the fuck up. And she's like, fuck that. I'm not going to do it. <laughs> um, you know, like, but people don't understand that people, people see Julie as a speaker for me. And, um, you know, I still get shit on for it. So, and like you know, it, it's it's just not Julie. It's it, you know, wicked. Um, a lot of people like you know, it's it's they get blamed, and I, then I get blamed, and because like you know, they're my moderators, they're my friends, they're my subs, and whatever. And like, there's there's no escape for me, really. There's not. Like it it it, it would have to take Siwa seriously. It would have to take all of my subs and members to never talk in your chats at all. Your chat, Jules' chat, uh, Amber's chat, uh, you know, th that's what it would take for us, you know, to, to have a, a clear dissection of... Between the channels, yeah. Yeah, and we all know that that can never happen. We all share subs and members. We all do. All mm -hmm. of us do. And, you know, as long as that's happening I'm connected to everybody and I, I, I want to be connected to you guys I do um, and it is you know, do, you, do you understand what I'm saying like you know I, I understand I, like, you, like Jade said you're going to be talked about one way or the other so it's at the end of the day it's just up to you what you want to do as far as Wicked and Brooklyn Brooklyn Girl and all that I think what you're y'all are doing is good when you're they were they're only seen when in your your content streams about nine day fiance. I think that's a good way to keep it because that does keep a lot of the heat off them versus when they're seen in chats, they get attacked a lot harder. So I think y'all are doing the right steps as far as Brooklyn Girl and Wicked. Um I don't really think I mean but they're also your panelists, so it's, it's best all, to keep them separate. All from I can it. say right now is that, like, you know, I've been doing my, I, I've been really trying hard to, I don't want my camera on. Hold on, where's the camera thing? This is the map. I've really been trying hard to not be like the person that I was. Like, you know, when like I get mad, like, you know, I used to go live every night and like scream and yell and blah, 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 like, you know, every night on a YouTube live and like, you know, uh, see, you see what you know all about that. <laughs> like, oh, yeah. I, like, 
Everything. That's one of my biggest issues in the past with you. Is you would just say everything to that came to your brain. Every night I would do that. And like, you know, now, um, you know, maybe I, I do it here and there or on a member's live or like, you know, here with you right now. But like, you know, it's it's not my it's not my bread and butter. I, I've really I've really been trying my hardest to, you know, get back to what I was good at interviews, mm -hmm. recaps, uh, tea, breaking news. And I've been trying to reinvigorate my channel with that. And, um, you know, it's probably at this point, it, it's probably falling on deaf ears. Uh, you know, I, I, I have the reputation that I have, which is my own fault because I was the one that went live and screamed to people and said bad words and threatened people. Like I, I said that, mm -hmm. you know, that was me. Um, did I ever follow out? Did, did, did I ever like follow up on anything? Never, you know, n never, not once. I said some shit when I was mad about what people were doing to me. I did, but I never followed through with it. Like, you know, I, I, I got mad. I went live and, um, and that's, you know, my fault. It's me. I, I can only blame myself for this. I can't, you know, and honestly, if I'm, if I'm looking to put blame on anybody, it's me. I'm the one that fucked myself up. I am. It's my fault. It's my fault. You know, I never understood what it was like to be a public figure. I was never on TV. Like, there's, like, no guidebook for it. Um, I, you know, when I got popular, I, I like, I grew... I gained, like, you know, with the Larissa arrest, like, I, I, I gained, like, you know, 50,000 followers, like, overnight, like that. And, like, you know, I'm like, oh, okay. Like, I don't know. Like, I'm just John. Like, you know, I go to the gas station. I, I get my mobile lights. And no one notices me. And um, I fucked up. I fucked up so many times. I did. And it's my fault. Mm -hmm. I can't blame this on anybody but myself. I can't. It's my fault. And then I got hoodwinked by people like Penelope with you, Siwa, with this shit with Penelope. Um, yeah. I, you know, and I allowed myself to put myself in shitty situations where, like, um, <laughs> you just attack people for, for the sake of attacking. And, like, that's what they do. And like that was never me, but I allowed it. I, I, no, well, they cheered it on every time you did it. They never said, John, you should not do that. I think the crew that's around now would be like, let's not, I mean, Jules, when Jules was on panel with you the other day and about the cooch thing, she's like, yeah, let's not do that, John. Let's not tell people to call the cops. And back then, they ne that, that the hags, ex hags, they've never said, that's too far. Don't do that. Don't say that. Don't talk about that. Don't talk about. They've never done that. And I think that if they actually cared, they would have thought about what the repercussions were going to be for you. And again, as a, if they were the friend to you, they should have tried to calm it down a little and not just let you make a fool of yourself. And then just put, you know, you know what I mean? Like, I think that if they truly cared, I know, they would like, like do now. See, well, I should know better. I, that is know. true. Yeah. You know, like, you know, there's no one who has the connections I have with cast. Nobody. Uh especially with any fiance. And I ruined it. I ruined it for myself. And I ruined it for my friends. And um you know, I, I can look at the look at like the scope of things now with, with a clear head and saying, like, John <laughs> You fucking killed yourself with this. Um, and um, have I not, like, you know, you know, Kim Kardashian, Margaret Joseph, Larissa, like, you know, whatever TV show you want to talk about, like, you know, people have haters. And for me, it was different because I was never on TV. So I did not understand the hate that I got. I, I didn't get it. I didn't get it. 
Um, and this is from the bottom of my heart. Like, like I am telling you this, like with all sincerity, hands to God, like I never understood the shit that I got because, well, you know, I was never on TV. I was never on 90 Day Fiance. I was never a real housewife. You know, I like when I say things, you know, I say them as me, as John, like, you know, like, you know, when yeah, I'm not as living, a on what, a person on T on YouTube where it's going right. to be replayed a thousand times right. and whatnot. Right. And I'm sitting like, you know, I'm, I say things like I'm sitting on, on my couch in my living room. Like, you know, I don't, I don't, you know, it, it's just like, you know, how I talk and like, you know, and, you know, and you could say that like, you know, because of my personality, like, you know, I did get to where I was because I'm, you know, I, I, I said things and I did things and, you know, it, it got me like hundreds of thousands of followers. And, um, I guess in that point I was winning, but then I didn't realize like, you know, when I defend somebody or I say something like, you know, it, it just, it just never, but like, you know, this is way past, like, you know, me talking about cast, it's just like, you know, normal stuff, like, you know, like, you know, household shit, Husbands and wives, children, cats, animals, mm -hmm. like, you know, and it, on top of me never being on TV, like, you know, then you have to deal with, like, you know, people like, attacking, like, my, and then having people like Bald Cat as Georgie. What the fuck? Like, you That's know, like, true. what the fuck is that? Um, and, you know, it's, you know, then getting bags of, sh a, a box of shit mail to my house. And my tires being fucking slit, and tampons, and and this and that. Like you know, I can't go through all the shit that's been, that's been done to me. But like, um, and then not respond. Yeah. And again, my fault because I respond to it because I wear. You Have know, you ever thought about getting a publicist that can help train you better how to deal with shit like that, or how to get <laughs> something done about situations like that? <laughs> You know, I don't. that's their job. They that's what they deal with 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 other people or with you know any public figure. They teach them and help them with things like that. You know, my biggest fault and my biggest strength is that I wear my heart on my sleeve, and like that's it for me. Like that's you know. People know when I'm affected. People know when I'm upset. People know if they send a bag of shit to my fucking house, I will go ape shit. Uh, or the tampons. Or no, like, ape shit know. makes you go ape shit. Like, you know, and I think that's like normal for people. Like, you know, if people send you a box of shit in the mail, like, you're going to go ape shit. Or if people come to your house and take pictures from your bushes, like Jay Today did, you know, and like, you know, that's okay. People say, oh, JJ was fine with doing that because, like, you know, you're a public figure. So it's okay that she's stuck in your backyard and is taking pictures from, like, you know, your bedroom window. Could you imagine? That happened to me. I have pictures. People which I, in my house take pictures. I have pictures of them taking pictures of th through my bedroom window. Yeah, that's. Isn't that peeping Tom? I mean, is that not illegal? I mean, like, but again, I guess I deserved it. I don't know. I, I, you know, I don't know what I deserve and do not deserve. All I know is that um, I still feel like, you know what? Never mind. I was going to say that I feel like I'm a good guy, but like, you know, I don't even know if I'm a good guy anymore. I don't, I don't, I don't, you know, cause you know, I've gotten a lot of shit for defending Angela and I'm an asshole. And, you know, the thing with, <laughs> the thing with people these days is that like they watch the show on TV and they all want to cast judgment on people that they see for 15 minutes at a clip. And like, you know, I have been with these people in real life. I have been to their fucking houses. Like I've seen what they've gone through. I've seen the scope of 
their lives. And, you know, I, I, I always felt like I'm, I'm different from the other bloggers because like, you know, all these IGers who want to make like money off, you know, Instagram or YouTube or whatever, like they don't know these cast members. Like, you know, I yeah, don't you actually know them in life and you're yes. involved in their day to day life, not just TV. Yes. And whatnot. Thank you. And like, there's nobody else on earth that has spent as much time as I have with the 90 day cast going to their houses, meeting their children. Like, I've I've always felt like I've oh like like that I have more to offer because I've seen, you know, it's it's like you know I I can be on you on 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 Instagram and make it a stupid fucking bullshit account, and you know talk about like how awful these people are on the show. But like, I've seen them, I've seen their, I've met their families, I've met their kids, and it's just not Angela. Like you know you know I I've been with a million cast members from the show and. That's why I guess people take me seriously. I guess I, I don't know, but um, I like I would I don't know. I, well, I, I think that's why you're such a ride heart, you know, ride or die for Angela and Scotty. But and it's just not Angela, like, like see what? Like, but, I mean, know. I know it's a lot of the cast, but I think people, you know, are like I can't believe he he's okay with this and that that was done on TV. But I guess I mean, what, at the end of the day, I think of it like. Well, he's closer to them, and it's not just TV for him. And well, look so at Paul. He, he knows them like, better you know, than anybody. Like, you know, Ashley just got married. Oh, not married. Engaged. I didn't know that. Like, you know, Ashley, like me, had a big old falling out. Um, I mean, you've been in the hotel room with Ashley, spent the night yeah. with Ashley. So, and her mom. <laughs> me and Ashley, me and Ashley were at Dr. Jen's house for Fourth of July. You know, me and Ashley, um, when Prue died, Ashley was there for me. And um, I had to say, um, of all the cast members um, that I've had in contact with, like, I miss Ashley. Um, but, like, I saw that she got engaged today, and she looks amazing and um beautiful and she has her salon and she's engaged and she's happy and I'm, i could not be happier for ashley i could not i could not and um it like you know i was talking to baby girl lisa about it like you know because she's from ashley i'm like you know i'm so happy for her and um she has her salon and like you know you know once you're on the show like you know it kind of fizzles and Ashley really did do um she she really made good Ashley did something with her time on the TV, unlike a lot of the cast. She actually yeah, made like, a know, business out of it. Um and I, I you know, if, if you know, I, I I'm happy with all the cast members that I'm, that I have in my life, but like, you know, Ashley's the one, you know, and we went we went we went hard at each other. Like we were best friends. Like, you oh, know, yeah. and, I, mean, I was, I witnessed that fight. At, but you know, me and Ashley probably spent more time together than me and that. And any other cast member, um, even uh, Angela now. Yeah. It, me and Ashley oh, spent honey. a lot of time together. Um, when she was, you know, I got Jay in jail for, for, for Christ's sakes. Uh, <laughs> like I did, I really? was the one that got, I was the one that got Jay in jail because I I showed Ashley the fucking post and Ashley put Jay in jail because of it. So if I didn't tell Ashley about that, then that wouldn't have, that wouldn't have happened. But um, you know, I am uh, I'm really happy for Ashley. And um, you also say it was her birthday. Whose birthday? Ashley's today. I, I, that's what I saw in your chat. It's actually his birthday. No. Yeah. That's what someone said in the chat. Let me look it up. No, it's it, no, 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 no. Maybe someone was wrong. I mean, it's just a comment. Okay, totally wrong. May, someone <laughs> the best, left the chat. It's May 2nd, for anyone wondering. May 2nd. So, yeah, well, someone, I guess, just got it wrong. Cody's May seventh, um, but um, yeah, no, I'm I'm like you know, and 
I went, you know, people always dog me, like, you know, John, you're biased, Sean, you don't care about, like, you know, the truth. Like, you know, first off, I, I'm not, like, a CNN reporter or a Fox News reporter. Like, I'm not a journalist. Like, you know, and everybody who runs a blogging page on Instagram is biased one way or the other. Like, that's how that works. Um, it that that That's just it. And um, I'm, you know, yeah. You know, people I think talk you gotta to find a way to, you know, especially with situations like um, with Angela and stuff. I think you got to find a way to be like, yes, I, I know that she's done this in the show and this on the show. And, you know, to way to not justify the things on the show, but at the same time still be. I've done that, friend. though. I, 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 I've never said Angela was an angel. Like, you know, Angela is is brutal. <laughs> oh, yeah. Like, she's, I, you know, scares me. I mean, she's. She's vicious. Yeah. Yeah. But like when you know Angela in real life, she's not like she's not. She's not the person that you see on TV. Um, And I guess that's why I get shits because I seen them in real life and I know it, where their hearts are. And, um, you know, have you ever I, seen her with Michael, but, you know, or have you not seen her since he's been here? Well, I mean, I was, well, you know, you've seen her recently, but like, have you ever seen them together? No, no. Michael okay. came um, a day before Christmas and then he was gone like two days before I got there. So, no, I never saw them together. I, I never met Michael. I never met him. Um, okay. Because I always wonder how, if they really fight away from the cameras or they really love you, Debbie. Like, because again, we can only assume what we see. And, I was wondering if you had any insight to that situation. Like, as no, far as I, no, I, I didn't. I I didn't meet Michael, um, but he was only here for like you know a couple of months. So like you know, I I went when I went down to Georgia just like you know a couple of weeks ago. It was uh, because Michael was missing, and Angela yeah. didn't know what to do. Um, so I was saying you made it at that. Your only goal of going there was to make content. If Angela didn't want to do be on the stream. I, I think we're all pretty confident Angela wouldn't have been on the stream. I could have done that fucking live from my computer right here in my fucking house. I right. did not need to drive to fucking Georgia to like Wait, go point. have her on. Angela has been on my YouTube a million times and I could have done that and I, I would still have a computer. You know, you know how much money I lost taking that trip? Do you do you get this shit? Like you know, like let me that. tell you something about this trip. Um, like you know, Angela told me to come down, and like we're family, so I don't care. But like you know, because I was like instrumental in like finding where Paul was when he was missing, and like we all, you know, I have resources. Like you know, so um, like she's like, you need to come down here because we need to be in the same room. And we, we could figure out where Michael is, right? And I said, okay. It was not for an interview. Do, do you think if... I, I get so well, fucking mad at this. Like, I would have got my hair cut. I would have wore a suit. I, like, I, like, I would have, like, you know, been, like, looking my best at that moment. Like, I, I you know, I look like... I would say you look very man. uncomfortable through the whole thing. And you look, you honestly look scared of the things that were being said and wondering, like, you didn't, you didn't look comfortable at all during the streams like you normally I do. I wasn't. I wasn't. Because half the time, while we were live, and, like, you know, as a blogger... You would want a cast member to say, talk, talk, talk. To but I didn't want Angela getting, like, you know, up, you know, I didn't want, like, TLC Sharp, you know, yelling at her. So that's why I kept telling Angela, shut up. That's why right. I was muting, my, muting the fucking screen. Because, like, you know, I didn't want Angela getting in trouble. Because I know the rules of TLC. I've been at this mm -hmm. for a decade. I know what's going on. So if I was this really greedy fucking person... I would never, I, I would have let you would have just let her run at the mouth. Yes. And get through. Yeah. Yes, exactly. Okay. If I didn't care about, and she, and Angela yelled at me because she knew I was muting things. And she's, yeah, like, she's like, like, I don't care. I want them to know. And I, yeah. and I cared because I didn't want Angela getting in trouble with the network. Fuck me for being a good guy. Right. 
Like, people don't fucking, wet sock, fuck you. Like, you don't fucking get it. Like, you know, I I could have gone that thinks line. that you co-sign all of her behavior and that you don't see anything wrong with the things she's Wait, done. Wait, what do you say? He thinks you co-sign everything she's done that you don't see any problem with her behavior from TV or on the street. Like, he thinks that you're cool the with everything. The guy who's posing done. as Nicolas Cage's son? The, like that's not Nicolas Cage's son. Like the guy who wants to fake being um, a father to Nicolas Cage. That guy. Really? Yeah, that'd be the you know, Wet Sock. You want to fuck with me? I will. You know, I've been well, cool with you. Clearly, you like, don't agree with everything, and you're not saying she's an but, angel. And you know, Wet Sock is somebody who goes on YouTube saying I'm Nicolas Cage's son. He's not his son. It's a lie. Oh my god. Like that's that's not his son. Nope. Not his son. Co-signing. Okay. I went down there because she needed me. And she knew how good I was at like you know getting the word out there. Was. Yeah. You know, and I, I have resources. Um, <laughs> so, I mean, they found Paul, quote unquote, found Paul within what two days of your stream? Uh huh. So, and I mean, he, he was uh, fine and alive at the four seasons in fucking uh Brazil. Uh, you know, and that you know, and I have not talked to Paul since then. Like, you know, Paul, Paul did you dirty, and so did I mean, yeah, he, he did, did dirty. they both did. He was only trying to get out of court, clearly. They both did. And, like, you know, Paul used me as a, you know, like, because he knew I cared about him. And I, you know, I really did love Paul. I did. I And, like, you know, it hurts me now that I have not talked to him since then. But I can't open that back up again because, like, you know, Paul only cares about Paul. And, oh, like, yeah. you know, He's the people... Narcissist. You know, Paul saying, well, Dom Natty, Dom Natty just came back from out of fucking nowhere. Um, Paul saying, um, oh, I, I want to be with Angela. She's like, you know, that's Paul trying to suck more clout and, and get attention because Paul, TLC is done with him. Sharp is done with him. The whole world is done with Paul and Carini. And that's Paul trying to be like, oh, I'll be, I'll sleep with Angela. You know, I, I, I'll fuck her. Fucking what the fuck Ugh. is that? No. Gross. No. The idea no. of Paul being intimate with anybody. Ugh. That was Paul fucking clout out of the whole Angela. Well, he was story. even throwing his own mom under the bus just to to get one over on you and to put the blame he put the blame on his mom, Karini, you. I mean, who does that? Well, that's Paul. And, you know, and I mean, like you know, we all know itself. We all know that's Paul Saley, and like that's why, like, you know. I have not talked to Paul since September. And, like, Paul was my friend for seven years. But but sometimes you have to cut the fucking cord. And people, they, yeah. they yell at me, like, oh, you defend your friends no matter what, no matter what. But don't forget, I was the one that called Paul out after the whole fucking shit. I was the one that did that. And You're the like one that thought of that he, had, all along, had not been missing. And that he it was, was a never rude. missing. Never. And he made, a, he made the whole world to show up in court. believe that he was missing and dead. And Karini was part of it. Karini posted that he was dead. Well, I think Paul has a, a upper hand on Karini because she he's abusive. Flat out abusive. Karini posted that Paul was dead and his kids will miss him. Huh? That's, that's on Karini. Maybe she was trying to cover for him, thinking... I mean, I don't know. There's no thought. Maybe they had agreement that if she would do this, then he would let her and the kids leave to go back. I don't know. I mean, there's no telling with those two. See what? Well, so with that toxic. logic, I'll say I'll go live right now in my town and say you're dead and Godspeed. Alrighty. <laughs> I'm just saying, like it. I mean, like, I guess we could. <laughs> <laughs> like it's that you know. At least it'd be interesting. Paul is somebody who, like, has been off the show for years now. Hey, Sophie. And, and want, want, is Sophie here? Sophie oh, Sophie. My, oh, my God. Sophie, my sweetheart. 
you are I knew like, you were going to say Sophie. I thought you were going to say Sophie, my angel. <laughs> no, I love Sophie. And, like, I've not been on... In, I, I, I've been sick. And, uh, never mind. Um, but I, I've missed Sophie's lives. And, um, I'm so happy to see you, Sophie. Like, and, like, um, when you... Uh, never mind. Um, she, I'm sure she understands. Um... She knows, but like I, you know, I love my Sophie, and like so, I thought I thought that um, um, Sophie, look at your text. I thought that Ashley like looked like the spring image of Sophie in that new text. Um, I, everybody says Sophie looks like Ashley. Everybody yeah. said it since day well, one. No, so. Ashley looks like Sophie because Ashley, you know, Sophie's a little bit older. So uh, yeah, but like you know, I saw well, even Ashley, Sophie's been to drag through the mud. Uh, with this whole Angela thing saying, of course, this lady up there is just a, a yes man for Angela and John. And like, they're even going after Sophie for the situation. Like, what the hell was she supposed to do in it? What was she supposed to do? She wasn't there. She doesn't know the situation. She was just hopping on panel to be supportive because she's normally on that panel. You know, <laughs> it's crazy. Like, you know, I couldn't. Like, you know, I could have done the live with Angela from my fucking laptop right there on my, you know, and, but like Angela's family and, you know, Angela is a tough bitch and I've only heard Angela sob twice. The first time was when I showed her the pictures and the text and the audio of what I got from Michael. Um, and I said to her, it was the first time. And the second time was just now. And, you know, you may think Angela is like the meanest woman on earth, but I heard her cry and I knew <laughs> that she was hurting and like for, you know, for someone so strong to cry and sob, I'm like, I'm on my way. You know, it was, it had nothing to do about going live or getting a story, but even if it was, what the fuck, who cares? Yeah. But if at, at the end of the day, if you think about it, what if she had not tried to do everything she could to locate Michael, like go on your channel, which you're the biggest channel with the, I mean, out of bloggers, well, you're one of the biggest channels, and you're her closest friend. No, I we, am the, we would have dragged her I, I for the OG blogger right. for 90 days. Well, she, I, we would have dragged her for filth if she had not gone live and had begged the public to help, ask her for help at the same time. She, so. you know, she, but she knew, like, you know, um, she didn't know if he went back to Nigeria or, or you know, so, like, you know, and I had resources when Paul was missing, and, like, we, we you know, and the funny thing is, Siwa, is that, um, you know, after me going live for like two days about Paul, Paul resurfaced, didn't he? Yeah, because the heat was, the, the kit, the, the stove was turning up. And he was well fed oh, no. and, you know, uh, live it, looking good. And like, you know, there was. I no mean, you were looking up graphs and locations. For I God was. Right I, I GPS locations. I, I had, like, you know, Juliana from 90 Day, Carmen from 90 Day, Larissa from 90 Day. Well, like, they you know, they, yep. they, all, they all speak Portuguese and, like, they, you know, and, like, they were trying to find, and, like, I had, like, the uh, a team going, you know, and then I had, like, Angela. Angela got a psychic and, like, tried to find where he was, you know. It was, like, a big fucking thing. And, like, you know, uh, when I care about somebody, like, that's the thing, like, you know, like, you know, I cared about Paul. I thought he was dead. Karini said he was dead. Karini said, oh, our kids will miss their father. He was a good dad. R.I.P. What? Right. Which is so, what the fuck? <laughs> yes. So, like, and, like, Paul was my buddy. And, like, for seven years. And I will never forgive him for that. Never. Never, ever, ever will forgive him for that. Like, we're done. And I have Here's not talked. If he had actually been missing, he would have been forever grateful. The family would have been forever grateful. Everybody would have, you know, said John, you know, got him help. Or if he had actually been missing, you would have been the hero, right? But because it was a ruse all along, I think he knew from the jump what was going to happen, and that you were going to step in and try to get help, and he was willing to put that on you. 
No, I don't think it that way. Like, I think that he like he thought he was gonna get away with it. He probably told Karina like you know listen, say I'm like missing or something like that, and um like yeah. you know let's let's get some news about us because like you know, um but like they probably like you said like they didn't really that uh, that I would go so deep into like trying to find him, yeah. and that's the only reason why Angela was like well you. You 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 found Paul. You got Paul to resurface. So you know I need you to help me with Michael. And um, okay, he was there. And you know it only took like a couple hours after the first live I did at Angela's house to. And like by the way, those Angela lives weren't even monetized. I made nothing off those. By the way, dum dum. <laughs> You got a lot of views on those. I hope they're monetized. Did you monetize them afterwards? Afterwards, yeah, but okay. like you know, it like when it happened, like no, like you know, because I just I didn't even think about it, but like yeah, like um, weren't even monetized. Those lives I did were not even monetized. Like you know, I don't like, even think about that. Yeah, I don't think I saw not one single super chat, super sticker, nothing through them. Not even monetized. I didn't like make dick off that. Like you know, and like one got sixty thousand views, and the other one got like like I think forty five thousand or something like that. But like, weren't like no ads, like nothing, like weren't monetized. And like I was just there because like you know I was there for my friend and my sister Angela, and um, people just want to just assume the worst of fucking me. And like you know, Wet Socks making a lot of money off this shit, ain't he? Oh yeah, every day a new video of the same, just the same stuff. Angela's abusive. Michael's a victim. Scotty's a monster. John's the yes man. That it's just, All just right. the same so thing like, over you know and what? over. Then maybe tomorrow we'll we'll do a Wet Sock video. I, you know, I didn't want to fight this motherfucker. I didn't want to fight him, but like you know, I, I, like. I'm I, like, it's just. It's, I would just let him though, John, because if you go after Wet Sock, you're just going to get all that, that his following to start coming at you what, even harder. You so. mean? <laughs> you fight up, not down, Siwa. That's what I always told you. You fight up, not down. You fight up. And like, if he wants to keep coming at me, like, I thought he made. Is there is there a lot of videos he's made against me now? <laughs> Oh, well, they're they're geared toward Angela, but you're mentioning every single one of them, of course. Oh, okay. Well, God, I, I wish people... <laughs> wow, someone who poses as Nicholas, Nicholas Cage's son, and when you're not... Mm -mm 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 -mm. Like, you know, you're a fucking liar. I can't stand liars. I fucking hate them. Um, but I did what I he, like. He went. He went. He went, uh, he went after Jules. He's gone after Sophie. Of course, Scotty. Red you... Sock. Yeah, he's gone after Jules and Sophie. How does he know Jules and Sophie? Because they were on your panel with Angela. So they call, they say they're just a, a crew of yes men that back up everything Angela does because you do and whatnot. But they use clips of both. And he said how uh, Jules is just a beast who won't show her face on camera. So it's, it's not been the nicest, but it's to be expected from people who, I mean, from him. I mean, he's never had, I don't know, I don't know what to say. He is not Nicolas Cage's son. It's a lie. I think we know he's not Nicholas he Cage's is son. Not Jade. He is not his son. He's a he's a nobody with bad hair. Oh my god. A liar. You know what? I am Mar Mariah Carey's son. Um and we had the same birthday. So um <laughs> yeah. I had no idea. I cannot. I, this is news to me. I cannot. Yeah, let me, I'm going to look up see how many he, how many videos he's done so far about the situation. Well, I think and, it's and kind of, I think it's every kind of time he puts, every time he puts your videos out, the whole he does a premiere. The whole chat is full of all your naysayers, and then every comment, like not every comment, but 
I would say about 30% of all his comments are people from this community. I know you hate that word, but talk a shit about you. You know what? I, I, I never had to be famous and lie about a famous parent. <laughs> like, like, um, you know what, guys? I'm, I, I have, I've had a secret this whole time. And I want you to be, I want you to know about it. Like, you know, I didn't want it to play this card, but um, my mother never killed herself. I have a secret. Oh, Lord. My mother is Meryl Streep. And um, she's very much alive, and um, she's my mama. And well, um, well son, you want to hear the titles of the videos? It's yeah. Angela cheated on Michael for years. Ninety Day Fiance happily ever after. Mark. Next video. Uh, Angela threatens Michael's friends and other Ninety Day cast members. The very next video, and it's daily. Michael escapes Scotty Dean, the kid toucher. The next video, Michael escape. Oh, sorry. The next video is Michael ran away from Angela and her disgusting daughter. Next video, abusive Angela Dean thinks Michael is slow and gay. Night, quote, a 90 day fiance. Next one, Michael is free from his abuser, Angela Dean. Next one, Michael escaped the dirty bird dungeon. And then one talk about Mary, whoever Mary is. Then the one after that is Angela Dean kept Michael prisoner in her home. And then go with a little three videos down. Michael ran away because Angela is abusive. Uh, so that's how many videos he's done since the whole thing started. Okay, so this motherfucker wants to play. Okay, you know, I, I was not going to do anything about it because, like, you know, like I'm trying to take the high road. But you know what? At this point, let's play. Let's play a little bit with this one. Let's just play some. T oh, 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 wait. I opened up Instagram and they're reaching out to help me again. So every time I open Instagram. Someone reported you again? Again. Uh, again. Uh, I don't even know how they they get that done. I, I, wouldn't uh, know I don't know either. either. I, to be honest with you. Out. But let's play now. Let, let's just fucking do it, because, you know, I can only take so much, and, like, I thought maybe, like, one video he did was, like, enough, like, you know, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna fight this guy, but, like, you know, it, it's clear that he's not gonna drop this, so, um... Just and, no doxing, and we're good. No, you would fight, you fight up, not down, and... No, no, but don't dox over here, please. I don't know, dox what? I don't know what your wet sock, whatever his name is. I don't know. I don't even know his name. I don't know oh, his okay. name. All right, then we're good. All I know is that he's he's not Nick Cage's son. <laughs> there you you heard it here, folks. He is not Nicolas Cage's son. So it's like the he's opposite not. of doxing. <laughs> he is making him go back to being an anonymous person because he is not Nicolas Cage's son. Oh, I'm doing a story. Okay. Um, okay, what sock? Let me see here. Um, Lord, I can't even think real quick. Um, let me see here. Well. If your dad is Nick Cage, can you hear me? Yes. Okay. I should I should say Nicholas, you know, because proper. Nicholas. If your dad is Nicholas Cage, then my mom is Meryl Streep. Game on, wet sock. Oh, he also he watches your um, Instagram and in Angela, so I'm sure that'll be in the next video. Well, I blocked him from Instagram. <laughs> well, he still has a way of looking. He sees every post that you made. He saw the post that you made saying, "I'm tired of people painting." Sorry, yeah, the the video say uh, the post that you made saying, "I'm tired of people painting Michael as a saint." This is what he's done about the infidelity situation. 
Oh, so. he's a real dick. Oh, he's really dicky. Okay. Okay, bitch. It's that. Look at my story. We'll, we'll go look at it. Okay. Someone's so knocking on the door. Someone's ringing the bell. Okay, there we go. Well, if your dad's Nick was caged in my mom's Meryl Street, game on, Whitsock. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, tell your mom she was great in that movie, Death Becomes Her. We're all big uh, well, fans. Well, you know, that's my mom. So, and, and she appreciates that. Thank you. Yes. she. I want a famous mom. <laughs> Britney Spears is my mom, y'all. Just to fuck with Stalker. I can't believe this asshole. You would like text I me. I thought you knew about it. I didn't know I was breaking I news. Did, I, I, I knew like that he'd like one live about me, like, but I thought that was it. But like now you want to fuck with me, like, you know, over and over again. Like, fuck you. Okay. Well, like I said, I want to make it clear the videos aren't just Sean Yates, you know, they're they're all they're all geared toward Angela and Michael and the do and Scotty, but Everyone he does mention about that live and how you're the yes man and you, you know, back up the abuse and that you co sign everything and that you'll what never call her out or whatnot. Abuse going on in the house other than what he saw on TV. What does he know? What does he know? Nothing. 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 The only ones that know are the ones that live in that household, really, or the ones that been there around both of them. I was, you know, that's my thanks for taking, you know, for going, taking the fucking high road. Never take the fucking high road, everybody. Never take it, because taking the high road sucks, and you fucking lose. Take the low, 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 low road. Take it every fucking time because when you try to be like the better person, people shit down your fucking throat. So never take the fucking high road, especially here on fucking YouTube. Never take it because people just they don't give a fuck. Put it on my community tab too. Fuck him. Fuck him. Fucking asshole. I wonder what account he uses to look at your page. He's blocked. Well, he's not blocked. I removed him as a follower and I went private. Oh, okay. So let me put that in my community tab because fuck him. Um, and I, I, I'm fighting up. So, I, I mean, I can't lose on this one. <laughs> You know, you know, I, I I've been fighting down my whole time with Maria against Maria. With everyone, and yeah. And Brooke, I've been fighting down this whole fucking time. So here's my chance to fight up. So I'm gonna take it now. Fuck you. Fuck you. Just go to it and go into it knowing that he has a strong following. If that's but because I just they, they seem What's pretty. What's Your wet sock. Oh, there yes, it. your wet sock. Let me see. No, I hate all of this. Hold on, delete. Okay. Um, community tab. Can you hear me? Yes. Okay. I can't tell. All right. Okay, post. Like, you know, I, I you know, it was it's been two weeks with him. So like, you know, what the fuck am I gonna do now? Like, you know, I, I thought I was being the better person and fuck him. And my mom Merrill will take care of it if I can't. And that's how I'm going out. Huh? I tried to take the high road. I really fucking did. I did. I tried. And like this this asshole who 
who claims to be Nicolas Cage's son, like, wants to keep coming after me, well, fuck you. Well, are you are you maybe going to watch the videos first before you go to war? Or No, I don't need to. Fuck okay. him. What, what, what do I need to watch, Siwa? What? Him saying, well, I mean, I'm not going to skirt around it and say he's nice to you in any way, shape, or form. He's definitely not. He's definitely Has very he been vocal. nice to me at all in, 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 in these videos? Was he nice to oh, me? Oh, no. He's okay, not been so nice to you or anybody. Why do I need to watch it? Why? I don't know. Just to see if it's as... I don't know. I I don't to see if it's worth it. See, I guess here's the difference between me and him, Siwa, and me and the haters. Like you know, I don't need to watch that. I I don't need to listen and to the haters. I don't. I don't because they're haters and they're liars. Like you know, um, and <laughs> that's it. Like like you know, you want to lie about me and like be a dick? Well, I I could post all his screenshots to me asking me for information. Sure can. Sure fucking I can. I feel that y'all used to be friends in that y'all 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 used to talk to each other about being bloggers and whatnot. Yeah, well, I have the bigger IG following, and he has the bigger YouTube following, so we're kind of like at odds at that point. But like you know, we were never like you know mean to each other. Like you know, we were friendly, and um, y'all just shared I, I, tips with each other, like information. Yeah. And I just never needed to like lie about having a, a, a celebrity be my, my dad. I never had to. Do people really think that Nicolas Cage is his dad, they though? They do! They do! They really think that. All, you, all, all they would have to do is go Google it and see that that's not his son. It's crazy. Well, it's, it's, I, I like said, I feel bad, you know, I thought you knew about all the videos. I, well, I knew he made like one video about me. No, it's I didn't, know, I didn't know there were several. I like, you know, and like, I saw you posted something you're like on your, like you, you did a short earlier mm -hmm. today about like it. And like, uh, like I thought I was just talking about the response. Yeah. You know, I, I, I had no intentions on. <laughs> uh, zero I like I just thought like you know you know he he felt a certain way about him and you know it that's okay if like you want to believe Michael then that's on you believe Michael like you know but like for him to keep attacking me well then fuck you like now you know like have you met me what suck do you do, do you know what I'm about because I will fucking eviscerate you and now that I'm fighting up then I hope I get your fucking subs and followers. So fuck you. Asshole. Dick. <laughs> well, I, he's, I put up posts asking, what do y'all want me to make a video about today? Do we want to talk? Because he calls Angela Dirty Bird. He's like, do you want to talk about Dirty Bird? Or do you want to talk about Mary from 90 Day Fiancé? Or do you want to, like, and constantly, everybody's like, no, uh, Angela, 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 Angela. They're all so. I guess he's just giving, to, giving to whatever his followers are asking for. But it, it's it's pretty. I mean, he's milking the situation as long as he can. I think because he's a fucking bullshit YouTube blogger. Like you know, and he has like you know three hundred thousand subs as a lot of people. Like you know, I'm not gonna lie and say that that's not impressive. It is. Yes, um, that's that's a strong channel. Uh, but like you know, fuck him. You know. Um, I, you know, I'm stronger than him on Instagram and, um, you know, if he wants to run to YouTube, you know, and, and wet sock never goes live either. He does like pre-recorded videos, pre -recorded all players. bullshit, all edited. He does not allow anyone to like, you know, give a comment at all. Cause he's a pussy and anyone who pretends to be the son of a famous act Oscar winning actor is a pussy. And like, you know what? I'm the, I'm the son of Meryl Streep. That's my new thing. I'm Meryl Streep's son. And I lied about my mom. And um, Meryl Streep's my son, my mom. And she has three Oscars. More than Nicolas Cage. And I'm good. <laughs> I'm good. I win. 
<laughs> Meryl Streep has three. Nicholas Cage has one. So, well, Lucifer is my dad, and he ro- rules the underworld. So I win because I'm always talking to demons, according to people. So, <laughs> you know, things are only. <laughs> oh my god! It's five o'clock in the fucking morning. I got yes, go. it is. It is. I'm gonna drop down. See what? Are you to keep this up? Yeah. Please, please keep it up. I, I when I get paid up. on the twenty first, I'm gonna send you some money because I yeah, probably you know this is gonna be demonetized. I probably ruined your chat with my. You probably did. Mm-hmm. I'll send you a little gift on the twenty first, and um, you know, like fuck it, I like game on, motherfuckers. Like I like I didn't I didn't want to go down this road with him, and um, but I could have. 25 cast members speak on my behalf against him right now as we speak. So if he wants to play like, you know, um, Nick Cage's son, then so like, you know, the he's off as delusional as Nicolas Cage is with his fucking, with his fucking facelift and his fucking, his, his, his fucking hair that goes down to his earlobes like Brooke and they all deserve each other. So. He's got more hair than Brooke, let's be honest. <laughs> Better eyebrows too. <laughs> I had a great time on this live, Siwa. Thank you for nice having me. About everything. And also, thank you for letting me explain everything. Like you know, people are gonna like you know, people have their thoughts about me, but like whatever, it's cool. Like you know, it it's it is what it is. Thank you for giving me the um the platform to say this like you know i probably could have done it on my platform which is bigger but um mm-hmm. i i i you know i i just no i, I enjoyed the conversation and hearing what your thoughts are behind the whole angela and scotty and and ashley i actually enjoyed finding out because those are i mean i've been curious how things are behind the scenes when no one's there yeah and um you know only me you know these these other bloggers like Wet Sock or who or Moving Mad like they they've never met these people in real life. They don't know what they're fucking talking about. You know, like I know I've had my share of like defending cast members like that that probably should not have been defended. But like you know, mm-hmm. it, you you need to like you know when you meet these people in real life and you see what they're about. It's it's very fucking different. Like when. I'm in Angela's house and I see like, you know, like the love and the family like with the grandkids and, you know, she's an amazing fucking, you know, nobody knows how hard Angela works. You know, she pays for like everything. Six grand, like it, she, she really does do her, you know, she wants to make her family great. And, you know, it, it just makes well, me really. She stepped up to the plate for the grandkids when they needed her. So, yeah. And it makes me really, you know, fucking mad <laughs> when I hear like things about her. Like, you know, and she was also like a hospice nurse, you know, like, you know, Angela's dealt with like, you know, being being someone who works with hospice. Like, you know, you know that they're at the end of their road. Right. Mm-hmm. And, you know, I couldn't even imagine being like that type of nurse like where like you know you are dealing with people who are, who are about to die like you know it, it's Angela's a good woman she is and like you know despite what people think about her she's she's a good woman and like you know you're watching shit on TV and like you know had Michael been so abused he would never have left Nigeria and moved into her house. And that's that's the end point on that one. Like, if you know, we, we've watched Michael and Angela fight for seven years. And, you know, Michael was always, like, in, you know, his country and was protected. And Angela came once a year. But Michael liked the money from the show. Michael liked the women talking to him. Michael liked all of it. Michael moved. He liked it so much, he moved I to Angela's maybe house. maybe he thought it was just going to be better when they got together in the USA. I oh, think he thought what? everything no, no, was going to no, go no, better, no, get no, better. No, 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 no. He, like, oh, come on. These people that are saying, like, you know, Angela abused him for seven years. Like, you know. It was still Michael's choice to move here. So Michael was playing the long fucking game. He was. And like, yeah, has has Angela been like too much with Michael? Absolutely. Uh-huh. 
Like, absolutely, absolutely, Angela. Like he says, she could be vicious, and she she definitely could be vicious, and Michael's been at the the front of the majority of that. So, I mean, we all know that she could be vicious. Um, it's not a secret, but to the people that are trying to say, oh, she caved him, no. Yeah, no, Let's no. To, let's case on a bit let me call the cops and when i went down there it was because she called me and she said michael's missing he's gone we can't find him i need your help and i drove down there the second i got that phone call wasn't for a fucking live if i cared about doing a big live like i would have i would have a haircut i would have like worn on a nice shirt like i had had, prepared i had not slept i uh, we drove down there I had not, I drove the whole way down there, 14 hours, had not slept, went live about it. Then, like, you know, when, like, Michael called the cops and said he was alive, then went live again. Like, you know, I would not have ever, ever, if I was caring about, like, you know, looking good and getting views and clicks, I would have looked my best. And you saw me, I looked like who did it and fucking ran at her house. So, like, don't tell me I went down there just because I wanted clicks and fucking views. And fuck you, Wet Sock. And you're a liar. And you're not Nick Cage's son. And um, I'm Meryl Streep's, I'm, I'm Meryl Streep's daughter. And um, there we are. Yes. And now I'm a daughter. And I, 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 now I identify as uh, Meryl Streep's daughter. So there it is. So um, I'm Johnny Yates. And that's what's up. So there we go. All right, John, we'll go get you some rest. It was nice to chat with you. Nice to see you. uh, Thank you. Love you, sweetheart. Bye. All right. Bye. Oh, uh, definitely my interview is off for tonight. But the person said we could, I told him, I told him like two hours ago, like, hey, let's just, I'm going to have to do the interview tomorrow because it's, I got a lot going on and I'm still live and. Yeah, so they're they're good to do the interview tomorrow. And y'all, it, the interview is going to stay on private until I feel the need to make it public. So someone else does the interview about me, that's when you'll all see it. And I'll be on members before I make it public all the way. Because just a perk of, of a membership, I say. But Adam and Suzanne, thank y'all for being here. I appreciate that. Lord, um, like I said in the videos with the Wet Sock, I think he's got a lot of good points about Angela, in my opinion. But someone make, made a comment under my last video about Wet Sock is awesome. It's like, look, I agree with the things he says about Angela, but that's it. Like, nothing else. Um, I'm glad John's, you know, once again saying he knows Angela's not a saint and that she could be vicious and she can eviscerate people when she gets upset and mad or hurt. Because um, I think that's why a lot of people are coming at him coming at him so hard but he's closer to her he's going to be more biased towards her that's just common sense at the end of the day because he doesn't know michael like that he hasn't spent birthdays with michael he hasn't been on holidays with michael and so i guess it's only natural that he's going to be more biased to angela and from how he describes her you know his his and you know interaction with her I, of course he's not gonna come on here and just like annihilate her with everybody else and it does make sense he makes very good point there's no way he just went down there just for content because like he said he's done content many times with angela never had to leave his home to do it he just he could go live from his home without the stress without being out of the money without you know still getting his he, like, because we went down there, he didn't have no sleep or nothing. And like I said, for anyone that thinks that John was having this time in his life while doing that stream, go back and watch the clips. He looked miserable. He looked scared of what was going to be the repercussions, and he looked uncomfortable. Okay, so if you didn't, if you don't t- figure that out, then uh, you probably weren't watching the same stream. I don't think Wet Sock. I don't know. I don't know. I feel like I definitely feel like he's milking it for everything he can. Um, but I don't feel like the, there needs to be attacks on everyone else, like Sophie and Jules that were up there, and and even Cody was talked about on there. And I don't know, you could just play the clips and speak about Angela. Like I said, everybody's titled their own opinion. I got my own opinions about her. Uh, y'all know 
you heard, go back and rewind if you didn't hear about me expressing my feelings about the Scotty situation, which we can agree to disagree on that. John says he knows otherwise, and I'm not going to argue, say, no, you don't, because that's, I don't know one way or the other. Um, but we all know that nothing's going to change anybody's opinion about that. So it is what it is. Um, but rewind if you missed it. We went in great detail. From We've done about three and a half hours of talking of everything under the sun with Paul, Creaney, Stalker, Momo, and um, now your wet sock. Uh, his relationship with Ashley, Angela, Scotty. Um, I forget who else, but he he went in great detail with a lot of it. So if you missed it, rewatch it. He explained a lot about how he felt about the court situation and how bad he feels about Sophie being attacked and Jules being attacked. And Sophie, I think you'll want to rewatch it. But yeah, rewind if you can. At the beginning, I pretty much was just going off at Muzz and Stalker because the allegations being made about my child once again. But we know the real truth about what's going on in her house and why she's so focused on my household. And there's not much else needs to be said. That needs to be said. How about you get all the folios for me and we'll all get all the folios for you and let's both lay them down on the table and tell everybody, read both, read hers, read mine, and you tell me who's the better parent. Just saying. But anyways, I got a headache. I definitely got a headache. I really need to do that interview tonight, but I'll do it later. Now it's time about just around the corner. I'm going to to get princess up ready for school. So this, I don't know how much time I can't sleep. I'm going to stay awake, but I am exhausted. That's for sure. That's for sure. I only plan on going live for an hour at most. <laughs> we are almost by Like we're getting up on six hours almost. So if anybody who's rewatching this wants to put timestamps about when John comes up or talk when John talks about this, 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 or this situation, please do it. I'd be, I'd be grateful for it, but you don't have to. Um, but Mosquito, no one gives a shit about you at the end of the day. You are what everybody says you are. You are. Everybody knows the full history of you. And I think so. I did think I saw just a new video get posted about her. Let me see. Let me see what that video is about. Before I go. What is a full English breakfast? What? Oh, John did 18 minutes ago. He added wet sock goes well. If you're, yeah, the same thing. If you're Nicholas, if you're Nicholas Cage, if you're Nicholas Cage's son, then my mom's Meryl Streep. Meryl Streep. I said strip. <laughs> Hold on, where is it? Where's that? I saw one of you freaking did a post about mosquito with more proof, and now I can't find it. Up oh, there, it is. Found it. It was Josh. One second. Let me see what it says. Proof must use its people to go after her enemies. This that's her like nearly pissing herself with excitement that she's gonna get not not, not another housewife to go after Josh. Then play it again. Hold on. That's pretty good proof. By the way, by the way, my at the end at the beginning of the stream when I'm like cussing up a storm and saying if you think that the stalking and the the argument between me and stalker are equal and we're both doing the same thing to each other, stay the fuck out of my chat. That wasn't geared towards 
Josh, or people in his chat. Uh, maybe you missed it, but Real did a stream, was it two or three days ago, where he was talking about the fight between me and Stalker. And that whole chat was full of people coming there saying, see what does the same thing she does. It's the same way. They both do it equally. Nah, 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 nah. That's the people I'm talking about. The trolls who go in there just blatantly fucking lying, knowing the full history. And they're going there because they're a Brooks yes man. So that's the people it was geared toward. I, I, I wouldn't even speak to Josh that way. I don't have hate for Josh. Um, so that wasn't geared towards you. So I guess I should specify that earlier. That was about the stream real did. Um, but I do. The only thing I was geared toward your channel or chat was saying commentary. Is it stalking? And you're referring that to me calling Brooke a stalker. And like I said, you're right. Commentary isn't stalking in and of itself. It's all the other shit she does. Why I call her a stalker. So just to clarify that, um, I don't have any hate for you. I don't. Uh, I, I, I'm hurt by some of the things you said, but that anger was not towards you. That was toward the real stream and the people that were in there. And it was so bad in the chat that I ended up leaving because I was so disgusted with all the people white knighting for all the shit this bitch has done and justifying everything that's been done. That That's the anger for that. Because maybe you don't know this is like the first time I've gone online to address it since it happened. So, yeah, I just want to specify that was not you and leave it at that. But sausage, bacon, fried egg, mushrooms, toast, and beans, and a cup of tea, too. That sounds delish. That sounds so good, Jade. All right, y'all, for real, for real, I need to get going. What a doozy of a stream. I will be leaving it up. I know uh, a certain person will be recapping it, which how is that going to work? Are y'all going to argue about who's going to recap me first? Coochie Coo and Stalker. Who's going to... like? Y'all are going to have to fight it out now. You're going to have to duke it out. Who gets to cover the Sea with stream? Because John was up. I know what you'll do. You'll cover me from till, till John gets up. Stalker will be given permission to cover me up until John gets up. And then Coochie will uh, cover the rest of the way. I'm sure that's how it's going to go down. Great. I'm so glad y'all are, you know, out for solutions. Such a problem solver. You're welcome for the idea. <laughs> Yeah, it was, I don't, I don't, I think he still has it up, but I don't, I, I'm grateful Real was trying. Real was really trying to, to like give good advice and good tips. And so I'm grateful for, I mean, we know it didn't, it wasn't going to go anywhere, honestly, but I appreciate his thought behind it. And I have no anger with Real whatsoever. My anger is towards the people that were in suck accounts running in there, uh, telling lies and making excuses. You know what I mean? So that. Yeah, I'm still pissed off about that. Like I said, the only comment towards Josh was that it wasn't even Josh that said it. It was the chat that said it. It was someone in his chat that said, commentary's not stalking. Just he don't like the person. No shit, Sherlock. But Josh is not the one that said that. It was someone in the chat that I haven't liked for a while. So, anywho's, um, I'll see y'all later. Thank you for being here. Leave some rainbow emojis. Generator, love you. Miss you, dude. Really do miss you. I hope all is well. Come back whenever you need to. If you're taking a break, I support it all the way, as you know. But please come back anytime you want to. I still care about you so much. Same Jader D knows I care about her a lot. Anybody that I'm just not chatting with much, my feelings or emotions towards you hasn't changed one bit. It's just, I just really, I like to detach. As soon as I end my streams, I like to break away completely. So I apologize. I don't mean nothing by it, but yeah, all is well. You're missed and I'll see you next time. Bye guys.